Oh, hi. Um, welcome to Shatana Studios oh, are we on? podcast. Yes, we're on. And uh, welcome to our first official episode. That last episode was just the, the prototype, but this time I was drunk. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, yeah, they were playing Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy. Are we starting with one, two, or three? We're doing one. Okay, good. Yeah. I'd... What you think I'm a fucking Neanderthal? No, 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 no. Maybe. Hey, you know what? At least, at least you said it to my face. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. Today we have a chock full of. Uh, we are chock full of topics today. Yeah, yeah you go. Yeah. I'm so excited, actually. Chock full of topics today because we have a lot to talk about, and mainly we're gonna be talking about. Uh, we're gonna be talking about Baby Driver. We're gonna do like a spoiler cast, but that's not until the very end. So. Okay. We will let you guys know. I'll even change the title of the video then. But for now, do not worry. For now, just kick back, relax. Did you already start it? Again. Again. Just starting again. But we'll uh, just uh, overwrite it. Overwrite it. I don't care. I didn't do nothing. Okay, sweet. I didn't do nothing. I did nothing. I, I did. I did hey, nothing. Uh, Leave me I want to start with. Uh, we had three people on already. Hot oh, damn. Yeah, man. Um, is this? Did they add to the story of this game, or is this really how Crash was made? Uh, no, it's just made. This is from the original. Yeah. I thought Crash just existed. No, he was created. I did not know that. You never played I, I have, but I don't remember this. Yeah, I've beaten all of them. Well, yeah, he was created because he was regular Bandicoot. And he got this. Ah, cortex. cortex. The vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. We, should we turn the volume down? No, we're good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll get the turn this one. That's what I mean. I got you. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. I mean, okay. I was trying to, but apparently when I'm listening to, uh, <laughs> it cut off right before, or right after that. So I was trying to catch one of you guys in the act, but it didn't work out. Well, yeah. What up? What, let's start with the subjects. Uh, the I don't know. So, see, I think I need to fix something oh, uh, yeah. audio-wise because it's not as loud as I want it to. There we go. There we go. Better? Better, better, better. Okay. Do we have a comment already? Um, that crash. guy, I will, says crash. And nice. I agree. Crash is awesome. Uh, right, topics. I'm sorry. So first topic, of course, is Crash Bandicoot, obviously, and Tim will be playing the first part yes. of the game. We're we'll uh, we'll, we'll, we'll already played. Dude, Four, this is five. essentially the same damn game, just the graphics. Three, the three, gameplay four. is there. Good. The controls are perfect. The same damn game. And while, granted, maybe some kids who are going to play this game, you know, the first time in the series, they might find it a little basic. But uh, all I can say to that is, Bingo, fuck I don't you. care. Hey, 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 children. Children. Oh, oh, like we can't say fuck. <laughs> Andrew SSGS says, I want this game, and it's, it's cool. Lol. And Ghost Mode says, This is bougie. Bougie? Yeah. Is that a, is that, what's this hip word? I don't know. Explain to us your slang, child. Hey. Or man, wow. sorry. Wow. You're you. right, you're right. But yeah, sorry. Uh, today we're joined by, well, me, Ray, Tim, and Nikki, who will come in and out. I believe I, I'm not entirely sure what she will do right now. She's enjoying a nice alcoholic beverage, but that'll be you know, out of here or there. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's certainly not here, you alcoholic. Wait, why is five o'clock? Why is five o'clock? I don't know why that's the consensus, but it is. I think that's a joke. It's because like after five o'clock, you don't have to work. Oh, right. Sure. Oh, duh. It's nine to five. Logic and I'm stuff. An she is the brain of this operation. So guys, I will imagine, it says, imagine Crash VR. That would never happen, though. I... That'd be so strange. But I would do it. Oh, yeah, I'd I don't care that. if I throw up. Would you care if I throw up? Because you'd probably do that. I always throw up. Number one candidate for all Yeah. Virtual reality. Virtual reality. Oh. You haven't tried it yet, have you? Shit. I... That was your... Well, not that thing. You missed every box. Now I'm going back. There's a whole other row to go. And you overrided my goddamn save. Whoa. Oh, you can't. You had to. Oh, I have to go around? Yeah, you had to. Those bastards. Ghost Note says, I don't think that would be good for VR. Um, one huge thing that I've also noticed is that they pretty much changed the voice up. Which, you know, I'm, I'm 
granted, I don't even know if it's actually still Clancy Brown. It does sound similar to him, but I'm pretty sure it's not. For, uh... For, uh, Cortex. No, yeah, I was wondering that, too. Because, dude, he was perfect. And also, he was the announcer. Yeah. Did they get rid of him? I, I, I don't know. Oh, Oh fuck. fuck! Oh, and you had a life. Oh yeah. Fuck! Oh, you got well, I guess at least I used it. Those are Wumpa. Wumpa. Mangoes. Silly me. Just kidding. Wow. Really just say that. No one says that anymore. For a long time. And it's just being, you know, my typical like nerdy tail. That's shit. Just, just, just be a shit. Uh, Aww. Did, was that the was that the clincher right there? <laughs> oh, um, that's it. Wow. Oh God. I'm just wasting lives. No, it's not. That's too bad. But it sounds like they kept the same voice after the crash. Wow. Wow. Or they just hired you. That was not bad. Burn Green Gaming says Dude, I'm having a hard time playing this shit. Why? Road to Nowhere is brutal. Oh, yeah. I hope so. Is that on? Which, 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 which one is that on? I do you believe that is uh, from work? What level uh, is that one? I just can't line oh, I'm shit kidding. up. Okay. My depth perception is fucked up with this game. I was better when I was younger. Surprisingly, actually, I think I sucked more when I was younger. Yeah, no, I'm definitely better. I'm only dying because I'm trying to get every single thing. Yeah. Why are you trying to get every single one? Because you get the special uh, gem at the end. Clearly, I know nothing about. No, no. Should I get the gem? That's fine. Everyone. Just, just go for it. Fuck it. What? You missed ten boxes. It's the ones in that row. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, but I'm the alcoholic. Hey. Hey guys, just don't worry about it. Not worried. You want me to project? Yes. Speak louder. Yeah? It's very, um... What does it taste like? Oh, yeah. That is the question. And, and the beer is an optional. Is an option. Yeah. But do you get a hint of anything? Like alcoholic water. Uh, do you have any, any fruits you can think of? So, so many light? Like lime? Lime? Lime. 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 Like yeah. Wine. But it's beer. It's like odd. No, it doesn't taste like beer. It's not beer. See, that's the weird thing, because every single time I have one of those, it always changes in flavor. Different flavor. Sometimes it'll be citrus, sometimes it'll be, like, lemon, sometimes it'll be, like, grapefruit, or, like, or not grapefruit, but, like, uh, raspberry. Huh. It changes. And we're starting to, we're believing that, okay, so we're talking about simpler times lager, the stuff you get at, at Trader Joe's, but, um, I'm pretty sure that it's, like, not a garbage beer, but, like, a catch-all beer, where it's like, oh, yeah, so we have all this extra stuff, so, yeah, just yeah, throw it all that's together. What we're, that's what we're running on. Did you taste the white wine? Oh, right. That's the, yeah. yeah, collect those. Not as much as I do like Crash Bandicoot, I have not really played Crash Bandicoot 1 as much. Agree with my shit. We'll be playing that night. Uh, more questions. Uh, I hardly recall part 1 because I played the games for the video part 2. Yes, part 2. Part 2 and part 3 are really kind of split among people because. <laughs> Um, that's his girlfriend. So, he's collecting, like, collectibles overhead. That's It's not really her head, don't think of it like that. I don't even know how to properly get that one. Uh, you have to slam down. You need an ability. Ah, I mean, fuck! Get killed by a beeper. Wait, what are they? What? Those are steady? Oh, they're just like. It's like Yoshi coins in Super Mario. Oh. They're just things you collect. Why? So you can 100% the game. Because video games collect stuff. Yeah. That's about it. I don't even know if I can call it a collect ball. I mean, Fuck. if you want 100% it, yes, but... Did you use it even by a death? Uh, skunk. Yeah. They're beavers, not skunks. I think they were skunks. Wait, wait, what's our next subject? Um, one second. Skunks. Look at that one. Oh, 
Yeah, okay. no, yeah, yeah. Put me to shame. Thank you. Can you get this though? Oh, what's that was, up, buddy? That was badass. I died. Dick. Loads and loads of dick. Okay. Um. Next topic. Let's move on to the next topic, and that is going to be ooh, Death Note. Have you seen the trailer? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, I'm actually familiar with this. Uh, yeah, Nikki actually saw the the whole thing, right? I don't remember if I saw the Well, we you and I have talked about the end. Well, what do you think of the trailer and where this uh, direction is going? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think it looks good. I have faith. Yeah. God damn it! I just died. Here you go. Uh, I have faith due to the fact that I trust Adam Wingard. Yeah, that's my thing. That's what's keeping keeping me going. But, but they are changing things. They are changing things drastically. Like um, L. I don't know why he's out to be public. Yeah, that was weird. But uh, what they are saying, they're trying to change it up. Like he's he's supposedly supposed to be like anonymous. That's the yeah. kind of vibe. No, I got that. Like, yeah. Today's like you know world that he's anonymous. And, not, and we mean like the cyber attack team from the internet, yes. not like just, you know, someone who doesn't have an identity. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like this game? 10. I'm sorry, but we're biased here. We 10. Let me give you yeah, an honest... Yeah, no, this is my childhood. We like, can't give you an honest answer. I, I didn't own video games for a long time, and I would go to my dad's house, and he had this. Oh. Yeah. He always has some... Oh, wow. Really wow. Really nostalgic there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, emotions and shit. That was really cute. You cry, little baby, little baby. You cry. <laughs> I'm, nice. I'm sorry, I, I just have to balance it out. I mean, you're nice to him, I'm an asshole. Oh, really? Yeah, no, you'll yeah. get too much of a big of a head. Oh, that's good. Wait, what? Oh, not, not, not that. I'm not talking about that. It's not tiny! I can bounce. Stop. Stop. I can the conversation <laughs> ended with that. Okay, <laughs> moving back on to Death Note, please. This is my girlfriend, if people didn't know. Okay, bonus level. That's what those do. And that is not a good... <laughs> Damn it, achievement. Or a trophy that's came up right now. Oh, yeah, Death Note. I have faith. So, I'm... Hey, hoping... girl. Oh, protect this stuff. I'm hoping the best. Yeah, no, I, I want it to be good, and I really... I'm excited, actually, for this new wave of uh, um, anime... Uh, Turn into Hollywood films. And here's the thing, people saying like, oh, they're whitewashing it. Um, I think that's an argument that's kind of just lost its luster nowadays. Especially since, if you want to watch a Japanese Death Note, you can watch a Japanese live-action Death Note. There are three movies, yeah. yes. So it already exists. This is just the American adaption. Yeah. You can't really use that card for everything. In this case, it definitely doesn't work. Remember that conversation we happened on the Native American? Which one? Oh. About that one Native American actor. Which one? That... The one from Hell or High Water, I was saying... Oh, yeah, what about him? I was saying, like, I'm totally pro sort of diversifying movies and stuff, yes. but I can name ten African-American actors. Can you name one Native American actor, like, by name? Most... Not not even movie nerds, just average people, do you think? No. Anybody in the comments? That's what I'm saying, it's like... Don't look it up. But, yeah, in, in that case, you can't really use the argument with that... Ghost in the Shell, you still can. Yeah, you no. Can have at it. The, boy, there were so many Asian actresses to pick. I know. Ghost yeah. in the Shell, have at it. But, um... But, you know, Takeshi Kitano's in it, so I can't be too angry. Takeshi Kitano is not the emperor of Japanese people. What? <laughs> Shit. What have you done? What have you done? Um, regardless, going back to what I was saying. Oh, yeah. Um, and speaking of the Japanese movies... Uh, if you really want to talk about, you know, deviating from the source material, god damn those movies deviated no, heavily. No, yeah, they, and they, so, they turned two very, like, uh, like, intense seasons oh. into two or three movies that kind of went a completely different They went route. their own way completely. So, just don't worry about it too much. If that's your issue, fine. But, uh, what's the main thing that you didn't like? Don't um, don't die. You're getting your crush if you do that. But what, what didn't you? You know, it just nothing sat with me. Too, I was everything was a little off. I didn't feel like um, I didn't feel like light was as intelligent as light's supposed to be. I can see that. Um, and that's what I worry about. But this is a trailer, and I'm not gonna shit on a movie just based on its trailer. You know? Exactly. I'm reserving judgment, but it does look kind of good. And in all honesty, there's there's a lot worse out there. Oh yeah. And with Netflix, I, I trust them. That's the thing. It's like Netflix always kind of keeps their promises. Yeah. And it's mostly because they really allow people to, you know, flesh out what they want and not interfere as much. So, yes, it's, it's going to be a different Death Note. If you want to watch Death Note, 
Watch Death Note. It's amazing. How does that? What's the super jump? Oh, you don't have it yet, buddy. Oh, you gotta unlock that. Yeah. Remember, you have every ability you can unlock. Damn. You, a, you can do a super jump. You can still do that. Yeah, but we haven't watched it, so I, I have not seen it. Ah. Do not ruin. Do not ruin. Get on that. I have so many other things. I'm watching Thirty Rock now. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Later, buddy. Yeah, just just. Read. Made me laugh, made me cry, made me angry. I went through all of them. Uh, speaking of trailers that have just recently come out that you know might be splitting uh, audiences, next topic: Jumanji. Oh, that looked awful. Have you? Did you watch it? The trailer? Dude, it looks so. Maybe you should watch this. Should I? Well, just so we can talk oh shit. Ah, ah. What if I like it? What if it's a one outlier? Well, you well, do. First, you're first, a big Kevin Hart fan. First, first things first. Kevin yeah, that's okay. true. First things first. What? Uh. The, oh, there's, there's no more game board. It is now a, a video, video game. game. Which I already oh. hated. And when you go into the world, you're no longer yourself. You're now a... You're like an avatar. You're an avatar of someone else, which... Is, this is why The Rock is in it. And it's like, okay. So awesome. this kid... Be, he really yeah, is, he really is. But the fact of the matter is, you know, how movies like 21 Jump Street, you know, take old concepts and make them great. Uh, a lot of kids have been pretty bad. Yeah, it's too bad, though. I actually wanted Baywatch to be good. Me too. It's like, oh, this got the same vibe. Nope, it was ass. I just, I'm a big, you know, I like The Rock. I love, I love The Rock. The Rock yeah. is a great actor. And people who say that he isn't, he does though. He really is a good human being. That's you, why I love him too. Have you guys seen this video? He's, uh, he's at like a zoo. Yeah. And uh, have you seen this video? He's at a zoo and he's ah shit. Sure. He, he did that. Yeah, that's what he did. <laughs> he just started beating on kids. Okay. No, he's at, he's at a zoo and these little kids are like, oh my god, you're the rock. He's like, who's your favorite actor? They're like, you! And he's like, damn good answer. Ah, oh, damn good answer. I think it's your turn now, because I'm going to kill myself. It's not even hard. And then you just wait, and then walk after that one? Yeah, his best move. Just wait Go. For, okay. Uh, the rock? See what I'm saying? No, I just thought I could step on that. That's what I'm saying, it's dumb. No, it's not dumb. Um, you're dumb. That's dumb, you're dumb. Wow, great coming. <laughs> hey, you leave me alone, okay? Uh, uh, The Rock's best movie. I don't know. Hold on. Shit. Okay. I, I just realized I didn't do something. Um, what's the one where he's going after Sean Michael Scott? Is that his name? Sean, Sean Michael Williams? What the fuck's his name? Sean Michael Williams, I don't... The guy from the Stifler. Oh, oh, The Rundown? The Rundown. I freaking love The Rundown. That's a good one. That's an amazing one. His best one's Panic Game. Oh, I forgot Painting Game. Painting Game is his that, best movie. No, that's, yeah, that's get that pump. Movie. Get it. Get it. <laughs> you have any money in the States? Of course. I do oh, hate... Yeah. What were you saying? Huh? What were you saying? I'm sorry, I still have to see Moana. We, we should watch Moana soon. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, sometimes I get kind of Disney nerdy. Like, Oh, I know this one. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm no, no, no. no. This is movies. No, it's, yeah. it, 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 we're just talking I don't about need a bro, 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 bro. This is all film. You want to talk about uh, what's our pitch perfect? We can do that for an hour. Yeah. I don't want to hear that. Well, the second one. Was crap, not the third one. Third one still. Although, I feel like they're really cranking those out a little too fast. Did you hear there was going to be another Pirates of the Caribbean? They already made it. Really? Yeah. It's now, kinda like, the real question is: Is there going to be another one? Oh, it totally is, right? No. Did this not make a lot of money? No. Oh, it didn't? I don't think so. Oh, that's awesome. Well, it's also... How many of them are there going to be? There could be as many as they want. I love them before time. The, the, no, no it's amazing. The thing with... They Fran all die. These are dinosaurs. How dare you. And that's what okay. Spoiler! Spoiler! <laughs> what, are you, you're telling me dinosaurs died? No, that's the thing with franchises, though. It's... I get... <laughs> little foot, but he's a you really <laughs> little foot, but he's a chicken. <laughs> you are destroying. It. I'm teaching people about evolution that they didn't already know. <laughs> uh, wait, what are we talking? About? Uh, the, the, the rock, wait, Jumanji. Okay, um, it looks ass. It, it looks like ass. It looks like it could be a lot of fun. It's just it's a slap in the face for fans of yeah. the original. And, and the fact of the matter, it's supposed to be a sequel. They're supposed to be like, oh. When they go there, they're gonna be finding st like Alan's like remains, like like not remains, like where he used to live, like uh, tools that he used to survive, like, yeah. you know, hints. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I don't get that, guys. There's only one sequel to Jumanji, Zathura. 
Yeah, and Zathura is not a terrible movie. I like Zathura. I was alright. Was there... Yeah, I'm a fan. Oh, speaking of Zathura. Wait, you gotta. What do you have? I actually liked. I liked Kristen Stewart. Oh She's good Zathura. in that movie. She's a good actress. She was good. She wants to. Yeah, she actually. She just did this movie called, oh, I think, Personal Shopper. It's supposed to be amazing. Or she's supposed to be fantastic. The whole thing's supposed to be good. I'm dropping shit. Do you remember watching Twilight? What? Wait, you never saw it. I saw all this crap in the background. Oh, you. Ray owns Zathura. This podcast might be canceled because we're going to be sent to another world. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, we we're three. playing this in another podcast. Oh, I'm down. Let me get a camera. Oh, shit. I have the board game Zathura, not the video game, the board game. And yet we're playing this. Once I pick it up, thrift store. Of course. For $2. Was this recent? Oh. No, I remember when I posted the thing on Instagram. Like, a couple months ago. Yeah. Yes. I mean, look at, right, or babe, look at that closet behind us. Not the closet, look at this. Or the, whatever the hell that's called. All Ooh, those video games. Oh, okay. <laughs> All those video games <laughs> that collection Ray has like, accumulated is, uh, Speaking of which, no, I'm gonna get a shaft card very soon, so we're gonna be playing a lot of these things yes. for a podcast. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Oh. Whoa. Which one's that? Oh, this is a great shirt. Oh, yeah. Uh, I want to talk about Jumanji, but I don't think we, we really have enough to say other than it sucks. It looks bad. Um, just watch Zathura. Uh, yeah, if you want a sequel that bad that you've never seen Zathura, watch Zathura. It really is, like, the ultimate. I've never seen this trailer. Oh, well, can we show you later? Oh, are you kidding me? Actually, no, no. We, we there can is play. no God. We can play and she can, she can watch it from right here. And we can hear her, like, her live thoughts in the background while we just keep playing Crash Bandicoot. Okay. I do think she is a, yeah. Oh, that's fine. This that's is really not her cool. fake. No. <laughs> Studying with her. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Five plus seven. Carry the twelve. Carry the twelve. Doing history. That's You're not, not helping me. <laughs> Trying to learn years here. I know, but I'm adding the years up from blah, 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 blah. And that's the Look, I'll, I'll, I'll give him this. It looks... Like, it's gonna be a big okay, epic. Okay, I'll say play. this. I didn't think Goosebumps was gonna be good, and it turned out pretty fun. Really? Yeah. I, from what I saw on the Goosebumps show, I was like, this really doesn't look terrible. Really? I think it's because you hate Jack Black. No, I don't, I don't hate Jack Black. Hate Jack Black. I do not hate Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> Instigating. <laughs> Instigating. Uh, I'm a fan. Uh, Mr. Jack I need, or Black, I need this. Uh, I need Mr. This Jack or Mr. Black? <laughs> Mr. Jack and Black. <laughs> Mr. Black Jack. Okay. Yeah, a, she really does think out loud. All right, it's just, this is not a fake. I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's fine. But yeah, anything else you want to add in? Just, just cause, yeah, because look, I'm here's the thing. I want it to be good. Yeah, I so want it to be good. Why did this guy just put Purell on his face like a cologne? Just, okay, just, just, just keep watching. <laughs> that is a good point, though. Why the? I don't. This guy's a germ, germ freak. Ooh, we get it. He's, or maybe I thought he was broke. <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't, I just think it's unnecessary, uh, to make it, but at the same time, you know, I heard something recently from the, from the guy who wrote, uh, Doctor, oh, shit, the guy who wrote Doctor Strange, and he was saying, um, it's not that Hollywood, um, is out of ideas, it's that, um, the, thank you, thank you, thank you. What? She's got a point. Why wouldn't you choose Ruby Roundhouse as a character? I would choose her in a heartbeat. <laughs> Sorry. You oh, it's uh. He was saying, guys, it's not that Hollywood's out of ideas. It's that it's that big money won't pay for our good ideas. So we're trying to <laughs> use these franchises to uh to make the movies we want to make. So, you know, a lot of people like the Doctor Strange guy was saying, like, I want to make a big sci-fi epic, but no one wants to pay me. So I said, well, what if I make Doctor Strange and make my big fantasy movie? And I thought, that's not a bad way to put it. And so, I hope Jumanji's doing that. And it's not just, like, it's like, I have a good idea for an adventure comedy. You wanna go? For me, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. And the reason why, like, I just feel like the trailer just, is just doing a bad job. Yeah. Yes, I'm pissed about the whole video game thing. People try justifying it saying, well, you know, it's a board game. You know, it would have to move on with the times. That's bullshit. If, if it didn't, why didn't it change in the first movie for right. the video game system? Right. If it, that was the case. Video games were very prevalent in the 90s. 
So your argument is fucking invalid. And also, this game system doesn't even look like it's, you know, brand new. Right. So yeah. again, argument invalid. But other than that, it looks like it has a good cast. Yeah. I mean, I do love Jack, Jack Black. Kevin. I Hart, like the fact that Jack Black is a woman, like on the inside. Yeah. And oh, that's the thing. That's Why what. What's the Jonas Brothers in this? I didn't know that. What? Don't tell me that. Shit, this is a shit show, man. Stuff falling apart, man. Oh, you, we we have a branch off too. Is that yourself? Nick Jonas. Oh, is that to go to the next level? Took this time machine. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you, you can you can switch between the characters. Yeah, yeah. Will. Okay. Oh, cool. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, Jumanji. Oh, oh, character. okay. The way this is be funny, and this is the thing that, that I think is crucial to this movie. <laughs> if it's kids in the bodies of these people, it needs to not just turn into a rock movie or a Jack Black movie. It needs to be, what if a girl was in this chubby oh, no, guy's that, that, body? That's exactly what they're going. I hope Jack so. Jack Black. I hope it doesn't, like... I'm pretty sure that's exactly what they're doing. And you know what? I don't... I trust uh, The Rock and his ability to read scripts prior. Yeah, me too. Because he would do it... That, that is a Jonas, Jonas brother. brother. Wow. God. Okay, not, you know, real, in reality, I'm not talking proud about them. It's just... That's... What is this? 2007? What are we? Hey, I, I, I think. Um, Grant. Oh fuck! I missed. You can still get it. Nick Jonas. I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Neither do I. Well, that's just let's let's a good sign. It there. That's a good sign. <laughs> I just know that that's one of them. Shit. Okay. Uh, you done? Yeah. All right. Pass it off to you. Please, Coco. You know, it looks like. But also, yeah. It looks, yeah, exactly. It looks fun, but it, there's just it, really there's so many things that can go wrong. But look at this way. What? Look at 2012. Oh, not 2012. Was it 2012? Oh, San Andreas. That looked like it was gonna suck. Oh yeah. And then it turned out really fun to be one of the best that uh, movie ever made. Yeah. I, mean, I haven't you. seen it, but I heard good. Who's the guy that made uh, Intense? Uh, uh, Roland Emmerich? Roland Emmerich, yeah. He, they out Roland Emmerich, Roland That's, Emmerich. yeah, I remember that. That was my favorite, like, blurb about the movie. Like, Shit! Went into it not expecting a lot. You back on. Yeah. That is true, so I guess... I'm gonna give it a mad night. So we're done with Jumanji? I think, uh, I think we moved on. I, I am somewhat optimistic, but I think it's gonna suck. And I, I feel like I feel like I know it's gonna suck. Yeah, I mean I really but Oh yeah, Nikki. Oh yeah, Nikki, yeah. Tell the tell the people. Tell the people. Tell the people. people. You saw the trailer, people. on honest thoughts. And there's no judgment here. Honest thoughts. Shitty, pity. That's what they say right before the judgment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was actually about to judge you. Um You hit the nail on the head. But still would make you laugh. Like Jack Black going, I can't even look this place. Maybe laugh because you know that person. Like you know that girl who can't even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just oh can't even. What was the name of the character you chose again? I don't know, Mark Ellis. She thought she was going to be a third genius yeah. and she ended up in Jack Black. No, I thought she was going to be like a girl too, isn't it? Like a girl's name? I guess. Oh, yeah, she has like, it's like... Dude, stop trying to get hit. No. What happened to Crash? Oh, you really like Coco. Yeah, uh, they, that, they added that to this game. Which for diversity. Mean. I'm just kidding, I love Coco, she's awesome. Yeah, I've always loved Coco. Okay. What was it, not until part three you played her? Yeah, yeah, oh, three, and, and it's specific Coco missions. Yeah, screw that, dude. How'd she get her face? We've all been asking that's, that. That's, that's a valid question. I'm actually one of the only ones to do. Yeah. She, do you make it like that? Do you make it? I, don't, I, I don't want to bang with that. You know, someone ever asked me, I can help her. Yeah. You know you were being condescending before. Condescending before. Oh. Anybody but Crash's She's not her. That's just this game. That's his sister, I thought. No, no, the, the, the collectibles you're collecting. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking Coco. about Coco, babe. No, no. Sorry. That's my babe. I'm pretty sure anybody's going overalls is probably. She, she, she always reminded me I of. I miss overalls, sorry. Do you? 
<laughs> Wait, no, they're coming back. Because Chance the Rapper. Chance the Rapper? He wears. Yeah, he did, really. I owe him something. That's pretty cool. That's so Alright, so we're done with Jumanji. Let's move on to. Overall. <laughs> I mean, we're. I mean, you guys are gonna keep going on overalls. I mean, you got time to fill. No. No. Now. I want to talk about something I've been wanting to talk about this whole damn week. I chose to reserve that for now. Get that. Fuck! Kill me! Ah! The Super NES Mini. Oh, yeah. Here is something that I am stoked for. The elbow. The elbow bag. Distraction. No, I can do this. I can do this. Don't read out what. I don't want to get copyright struck. Oh yeah, that's true. Wait, can you, can you really get copyright from reading the novel? I would be skeptical. Fucking really? Really? I blame Crash Bandicoot. The Hobbit. Are you reading an essay or are you reading the word? Don't work. Well, then there you go. I mean, essay too. That's actually the guy who's more likely to sue you. Who wrote the essay? Yeah. Well, we got a comment. Oh, good. Uh, we got... I can't read that name. I want to see the seven. I'll refer to you as seven. Uh, hello, I offer you my friendship. Hello. Friendship. Oh, internet. Friendship. Friendship. Again. The market Anyone know what that's from? Huh? Does anyone know what that's from? Friendship. Friendship. No, Friendship. Yeah. Again? Mortal Kombat 2. I am lost in my world. Classic <sighs> quotes. Okay. So, yeah. Super NES. Really? Classic. And I want to go through the whole list and just pretty much talk about every game that's on there. And see if you have anything to say about it, or I'll just gush about every single game, which is fine. Okay. I was gonna text me. Do you wanna do that? I do. Go ahead. Yeah, Uh, just. Alright, so let's go through the list. First on the list is Contra 3 The Alien Wars. Um, I I've played it. I've only ever played the Contra on the PS2, which is so hard. This one's just as hard. Okay. Although I think the PS2 is actually harder. Yeah, no, that's what I've heard. I mean, Contra is hard no matter what. Period. That Contra is just. It's like I've know, never beat a Contra game. No, neither have I. I've, I've wasted a lot of quarters on a Contra game. I'm sorry if that's like some sort of medal I, I should have earned by now. If I want to be called a game. I don't want that medal. I don't want. I don't. I like Contra, but I like Metal Slug a lot more. So at that point, it's just. I'd rather just. I, I've, I've beaten every Metal Slug game, and I could uh, beat uh, Metal Slug X in one quarter, so that's my that's my uh, replacement for that medal. But regardless, uh, Contra 3, Alien Wars, I've only played a little bit of it. It's really, really fun. Is this the Hollywood one you already is... did? Or you didn't do any yet? Just say. doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play this game no matter what. It's just going to just... Yeah, just okay. right. Um, yeah. Next up. This is a good one. This is a good one. Donkey Kong Country. Oh, yeah. Which, funny enough, I was about to mention... Um, this is what, this game reminds me a lot of that. Crash yeah. Bandicoot One reminds me a, a shit ton. Yeah, I agree. Of, uh, uh, Donkey Kong Country. It's like what if Donkey Kong Country was up and down instead of left and right? Not only well, not only that, you, you have left and right uh, levels. But yeah, yeah like your actual like you know, the aesthetic and the what's it called? Because look at you're riding a, a boar. Oh yeah, like the rhino. Like the rhino, and also uh, the map selection screen. It doesn't look like the map selection screen from like Mario. It doesn't look like the map selection screen from like uh, any other game. It's pretty much straight up Donkey Kong. Country. Whoa. Hey. Uh, Can you guys play volleyball later? Later? Possibly. Well, it's already... Oh, what? Well, no, the sun doesn't go down. Like Don't know what that is, but he sounds like the guy. Connie Wait, and... Pez. Nick Johnson. Jackson. Jackson. Sorry, yeah, Jackson. Uh, Nick Jackson. Shit! That sounds familiar. Whatever. I forgot what talking about that yeah. Alright, Donkey Country. Uh, yeah. That has a game. That's something... Do I have a Super Game? I don't know, this is a Game Boy Advance? I know I don't own a Super Game Boy Advance. My neighbor had that game. And she would never let me borrow it. I can't really understand why. Weirdly enough... I probably would've stole it. What? Weirdly enough, uh, how I first played it was at a, a girl's house, too. Just, yeah. you know... For anyone who says girls don't play video games. Never even said she was a girl neighbor. You're right, she's a girl neighbor. You just said she was a girl neighbor. Yeah. yeah oh, it has she. All right, yeah. I said she. You're right, you're right. Doi. Doi. I'm going to do Uh, next up, Earthbound. I... I... I have played Earthbound. I've rarely played it. It's not a fun game. 
I'm gonna say this right now, Earthbound is not a fun game, but it's a good experience, which is why people herald it so much as being an amazing game. Dude, I've heard that from so many RPG fanatics, like, oh no, this game's not fun. It's not fun at all. But you gotta play it because it's a really crazy and weird game. And by the end of it, you're gonna be glad that you did, but you're never gonna wanna play it again. The Earthbound series always seems like something that's gonna come back and like, I don't no, know, two years away. Dead? It's, they've never even released Mother 3 outside of Japan. You had to get a, a freaking English translation over here. Huh. That series is dead. If they if they ever do something with it, I will be surprised. Although I do think it's going to be like a rematch or something. I don't know, but regardless. Really? Yeah, but they're never going to make it again. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the series is dead. They moved on. Uh, okay. Next up, Final Fantasy 3. Now, this game is terrible. I have it for the 3D or the Nintendo DS, and it's a piece of shit. Is that the one that's extremely long I'm for no reason? I'm kidding. It's Final Fantasy 6. Oh, okay. It's, it's, uh, the Japanese decided to release the Final Fantasy series over here in an incorrect order. Or no, it was America, sorry. In Japan, they were already at part six, and here in America, they were like, Oh, well, we don't, uh, we can't release all those games so quickly, so we're gonna, you know, just I didn't skip. get that. We're just gonna skip two, three, and five. And we're gonna release part four, the real part four is part two in America, and part six is part three in America. Confusing as hell. So if anyone out there is uh, reading like that list saying, Oh, it's Final Fantasy 3, that one sucks. No, no, no. It's actually Final Fantasy 6. Huh. So, it's the best Final Fantasy ever made. One of these days, somebody should correct that crap. People have already corrected it. It's just, I mean, if you play the, if you buy the PS1 version, you can play Final Fantasy 6. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? You missed one box. <laughs> what? Didn't you see it when you ran by it? It was to your left. No. Okay. There is no God. Next up. F zero. Yes, I don't like the games, but I know. I think it's okay. We, yeah, we had this discussion before. It was. Yeah. It's. I've never been a fan. It. It's a staple of the series. The graphics are amazing. Looks great, but I just do not care that much. <laughs> I guess. Not saying that if you'd like the game. Not saying to you know. I'm you know pooping all poo pooing all over the game, but mm. it's it's still a good game. Oh, God damn it! Next up, Kirby Superstar. Big fan. Big fan. Big fan, yeah. How big of a fan? Uh, I've never beaten anything but 64 and the Game Boy Advance ones. I think the Game Boy Advance one is the uh, remake of that. Right. Okay. So, so maybe I have. But I have, like, is what's the one where is it the original where, where you, there's secretly the two player? I have no idea. Like, where as much as I'm a fan of Kirby, I have rarely played the games. So I've only played Superstar Saga, Dream Course, which is the next one we're going to be talking about, and 64. Which we already made a great, uh, insane fan theory about that. People, Walter White is Kirby. Don't believe me? Go to the insane fan theory uh, That's a fact, people. We it proved that. We proved it. What? I ignore, ignore the fact that we released this video on April 1st. Ignore that. That's not, that's not the humor there. But, uh, yeah, we, we, we made a video. Wait, much. what? Heisenberg? Heisenberg is Kirby. We proved it through science. Through actual science. science. Through science. You know what Kelvin's are, sweetheart? You know what Kelvin is? Yeah. Well, that's a unit of measurement for, uh... I said I knew that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, wish, you wish you knew science like we know science. You wish you knew science like we know science. Uh, we'll, we'll move on. Uh, yeah, Kirby's Dream Course. It's a golf game with Kirby. What, what's not to love? It's literally a concept. Uh, thinking about it, it sounds like a stupid idea. But it, it's just go right. Just screw the wump of fruit. Go right. I'm obsessed. Then get it the normal way. There you go. And then just see. Is that worth it? No. Is that worth it? No. That hurt. <laughs> that hurt. The thing crashes and I have like a ball thing. I mean, if there's a pit, you would. But yeah. Whatever. Um, the Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. Considered by many as the best Zelda ever made. As, a, as somebody who's played just about every Zelda game, that's the only one I haven't played. So, well, guess what? If I do manage to switch by the fucking like damn browser over here because I'm trying to score my thing over for the damn thing. Fuck. Um. Oh, you have a right there. I know. I have played. I know, woman. I know, woman. Okay. I have played the game. And, uh, what the fuck? A Link Between Worlds, oh, in my that. opinion, is a lot better. That's the that's the one that came out. Three years. Yeah. Again, I think I'm running on just complete and utter. What's it called? I'm, I'm completely unbiased here, and I get it. People are gonna be hating me for saying that, but 
I think it's better because it improved on what the original did in every way, shape, and form. To be honest, every review I read for that game said the same thing. They said... But people what? still can't accept it because, you know, it's nostalgia. I mean, it is. I get it. Yeah, you know what? That gets me to this. Um, don't let nostalgia blind you. Um, it happens. But... Uh, Breath of the Wild is the best Zelda game. I said it. Yeah. And people complaining about certain things? Yeah, you're right. They had to nitpick about certain things. But, you know, stuff like people complaining about, you know, sliding off the rocks when it's raining? Sorry, but that's realistic. I and really honestly, like I really like that too. I love it's that annoying function. as fuck, but I'm like, you know what? I'm thank you, game. Thank you for making it that much harder. That can be thinking constantly. And also, if a lightning bolt's about to strike, I'm gonna unequip a damn metal. Uh, Everything metal. Immediately. Otherwise, I'll die. But, uh, yeah, next up Shit. Mega Man X. I hate the Mega Man series. Mega Man oh, X? I too? suck at them. Uh, Mega, look, That's why I hate them. I, I get anyway. Mega Man. <laughs> I, I love the series. Although I haven't really played as many as I'd like to because they are, again, as you said, they're hard as hell. They're Mega so Man X, come on. You can call me, like, not a gamer or whatever, but I, I meant people on the internet, like, but... God, well, they're I mean, so I hard. It's totally not a gamer. It's so not a gamer. I thought it was towards me. You know, really, <laughs> You're not a gamer. But yeah, Mega Man X is fantastic. For fans of who... Can you just jump over his ass? Why does he get his hair like that? Oh, oh, it's it, his salon. You would not believe it. Are you kidding me? There is no guy. Alright, next up, Secret of Mana. Oh, uh, that's an RPG, right? Yes. A game that I have not played. And I'm hoping... What am I saying? It's heralded as being one of the greatest RPGs ever made. Um, what are you going to by? But I get it. That's Oh god. No. Cool. Die, buddy. Hey, watch out. I know, I see it. Secret of Mana. Oh, fuck! I have not played Secret of Mana, so I can't really say much. But. Uh, Ray has to for certain ones. There's other ones. Like that one, you, can't, you don't have to. But for that one, there's another one where it's just good. Like, he couldn't do that one without the fire. Yeah, I yeah. Why? Well, <laughs> so yeah, moving on. Star Fox 1. It's a great game for the time, but it's aged. Yeah. Which is fine. But. Nothing wrong with it. I don't know if this is skipping the list you're reading, but Star Fox 2. Well, that's that's the next one. Oh, okay, yeah. good. Uh, Star Fox 2's never been released. Except uh, Ray and I managed to have played it somehow. Hey, don't. Shh. We never played it. Shut up. Uh, yeah, well. If... We have never played an unreleased game. That would be illegal. That yeah, would be that illegal. Would, that would be illegal. Oh, but God. this illegal game is amazing. Um, and it, 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 Got it has not aged like the first one has. If anything, it actually, the newest one ripped off of that game a lot. Yeah, in fact, I wish they would have ripped it off more. Because, yeah, Star Fox Zero sucked ass. Uh, but yeah, Star Fox 2 is, in my opinion, the best Star Fox game ever made. Yeah. Yeah. Next to only... How would I know that? I never played it before, but yeah, I'm just gonna say that right. Yeah, yeah. But uh, next, actually, it's number two to the GameCube one. You know. Go fuck us. You know what I'm talking about, right? Go well, with the dinosaurs? Go fuck us. This is an amazing. <laughs> shit. What have we got? Wow. Next up, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting. Again. I'm a little pissed about this stuff. Because uh, in the Japanese one, they get Super Street Fighter. And what that means is they get more characters. I'm tired of this whole, like, separating, like, Japan gets this, we get that. <coughs> well, they kind of had to do that because, I mean, they did take away some stuff that won't, wasn't as big over here. Like, they get Tetris Attack, which kind of is annoying me. Oh, wow. But... Wait. They upgraded Tetris? They've upgraded so many Oh, yeah, there's so many Tetris games. It's Tetris. I don't know. Tetris. It's easy to do that attack. Like... <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to explain that to Tetris. The game that teaches you how to pack. Uh, but yeah... Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> Super Castlevania 4. Okay, so, I've ne I haven't actually ever fully played a Castlevania game, but every time I've played them, um, like, big fan. Yeah. Uh, Symphony of the Night is the best one. I've never had, like, a... I've never had a, a, a NES or a SNES. Um, Demon. But that's a game that, yeah, I really He's like to play. Oh yeah. Fuck! Next up, speaking of hard and wanting to curse your uh, loved ones, Super Golden Ghost. Where did oh, that come from? I don't know, because I'm just yelling fucking in here. Dude, okay. 
To talk about a game is frustrating too, because once you beat it, you gotta beat it again. Did they do that with the other one too? God, no, wait. With all of them, right? I heard comments. Hold on. I have to. Yeah, you're right. No, 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 do it. no. Ah! 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 I almost died. Watch out, be careful now. Hey, we're your friends too. I know, but we're your friends or my own friends. <laughs> God damn, son. Your turn, son. Uh, comments. Before we keep building this, uh, did you just fart and sneeze at the same time? No, that's just how I laugh. <laughs> I don't even know what noise you make. I, I can't tell how they go. Roll 247 says wrecked. Okay. Wrecked. Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. Okay. Next up, uh, Super Mario Kart. The worst Mario Kart, mind you. Yes. But it's still fun. I'd still give it like a 7 out of 10. It's the Teddy's Day. It's just not as great. You have to. Just, just gotta let you do. Just gotta let you do. No, you gotta. Is it up here? No, you gotta get. And then how do I get that? When you jump over it? No, you gotta get the middle one like I, I did earlier. Just gotta not hit it. There you go, like that. Like run. 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 Okay, okay, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. T take, take a chill closer. <laughs> what? Slow down! Hey. Yeah, Super Mario Kart is the worst one, and that's completely fine, because every other game after that just got better and better and better and better, except for maybe Mario Kart, uh... The 3DS one? 3DS one wasn't that great. In in the sense of Mario Kart games, it's still probably like a 9 out of 10, but it, it, it's just... What's, what's your favorite? Double Dash. Double Dash? Although, 8 is really I really mode. like 8. I, I, I kind of hope 9 it has a Double Dash element to it. I, I, the thing is, Nintendo's really good about switching it up, so I can see something. That's the switching up that's going back. To the Double Dash thing? Yeah. They, they did that before? No. The du yeah, the Double Dash thing is only in Double Dash. No, I know, I know. That's what I was going to say. Is um, I don't see them um, rehash, redoing that so much as like figuring out something that's very Switch specific. Super Mario Kart is very good time, Rule 247 says. I agree. I'm not. That's what I'm saying. I'm not knocking it. For the time, wow. but yeah, nowadays it's it's the poorest one. And again, that's complete. Uh, so long, long time ago. A Mark yeah, says, "Hey, just got out, just got on the stream. What's up? What's up, A Mark?" Although I would love to shop shop at you, but uh, sorry, I always shop at. So I gotta shop smart. That's smart. That's but um, next up, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the new king of Mario Kart games. Yeah, Mario Kart. Which one? So the, the issue with Mario Kart 8 uh -huh. was the battle mode sucked. Yeah, what was that even about? Like, you know, it was battle mode just on the regular tracks, so we had to move backwards and forwards in the track. Yeah, it, it was, was shit. It was it was lazy. But with deluxe, we fixed it. Good old fashioned uh, battle mode. Oh, you can make that, you weenie. Wow. You're yelling at yourself, buddy. Yeah. Yelling at a video game character. Amart says, "What's going on?" We're just sitting here playing Crash Bandicoot, talking about stuff. We even have it. Yeah, not out loud though, because yeah, that's we'll a get big suit. That's a big bill. That's a big bill. Next up, and I don't know if you have any experience with this, but, um... What if I did... just talk like this? Oh. What? Like, what if, this is, what if I just refer to people as the king under the mountain? Um... I just uh, want to say that the, uh, Tolkien people are very picky. I assume? Yeah. Okay. All I'm saying is I don't want to deal with their magic stuff. Okay, so, Super Mario RPG. Legend of the Seven Stars. Did you play this one? Super Mario RPG. Yeah, that's the one that's top down. No, no, but I, that, I've, uh, I've seen. There's a photo of like one of the characters is a uh, scarecrow, I believe. He kind of looks like a scarecrow, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. And he was like speculated as a, a Super Mario, uh, Super Smash Bros. character. Yeah. yeah. People wanted him badly, but sadly we didn't get. Him. He looked really cool. Yeah. That's all um, I know about that game. Yeah. I've heard it's amazing. Oh, I, oh, we lost all the lives. Oh, yeah, it's all your fault. Wait, what? Yeah. What are you doing here, asshole? You're not yeah. until part three. Hint to hint, hint. Oh, spoiler! Spo Insane fan spo theory. Oh, uh, next up, uh, Super Mario World. Oh wait, no, no, sorry. Want to keep talking? RPG. Yeah. Um, it's the first time that Nintendo, the actual devs in Nintendo, uh -huh. teamed up with. Is it the first time? Or else. This is a Square Enix game. Oh, or really? Square Soft back in the day. So, yeah. This is a full-fledged RPG made with care and love, and my God, does it show! It, it, it's, it's a, it's a phenomenal RPG. That's all I can really say. Uh, next up, 
Super Mario World. I mean, what else is there to say? I've already made a review about this. It's literally the first game I ever played, and when I say it's the, one of the best games ever made, there's literally no nostalgia behind it, because I'm not alone saying that. People even start with the Atari 2600 and still say, oh, that's one of the best platformers ever made. So, I literally have the best games ever made. Good at Mario games. He's producing all the, all the I'm just saying. Not that great. Having a fucking tough time with Super Mario Sunshine. You don't want to be a plumber in your life. <laughs> well, I'd have to be a plumber who gets lost in a, in a sewage drain and then starts tripping on mushrooms. That's that's that's, that's essentially what it comes down to. Where did Peach? It's all, it's all it's gone. I mean, you think you think that because uh, his real girlfriend's Pauline, girlfriend Duncan. She's actually coming back in the new one. Yeah, oddly enough. Is she mad about Peach? Oh yeah, oh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a feud. Good blood. It's gonna be the first mark. It's gonna be a bloodbath. They should team up. Get my! What, kick his ass? That <laughs> cheating motherfucker! Yeah, he's doing better. For 15 oh, games, you I, I do believe that he broke up with Pauline or he just let Don Kong have his way. So. Wait, wait, let him have his way with her? Like she's his token? I mean, I mean, he kidnapped have, have her. You, have you seen those kind of, how they treat women in those games? I mean, at least back in the old days? Come on. They, they, they weren't really subtle about it. Oh, wow. Next up Super Metroid. I really have to say this. Do I really have to talk Fantastic. about this? Fantastic. Uh, but I'll, I'll keep saying this. That Nintendo's Metroid logo reveal was just. Yeah, thanks a lot, dickheads. Game, yes, but don't be like, huh, Metro Prime 4 is coming. Okay, oh, anything crazy. else? Nah, just. We're yes. doing it. Tim, are you still down for soccer on Monday? Monday? Yes. Do you want to play soccer here? Uh, Monday. Our team is the magical team. Probably Their not. thing is a pirate sperm. I, I do believe it's I actually a pretty cool logo. I do. Really, I, I, I believe I have someone to do that game. Oh, sorry. Oh, you still don't know. Uh, yes or no because she hasn't given me any details. Okay. She gave me. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, comments. Haven't played Mario RPG since childhood. Uh, Lol two four seven says. I can't play many old old school RPGs anymore. And Super Mario World is still great to this day. I can, I can play the game on my worst day and have a great time. Yeah, I agree. It's a great game to bring it. But uh, I do wonder why Why can't you play old RPGs? It's like a health thing. It's a health thing? Yeah. Is there... Roger says. He says. Alright, thanks for taking dark. <laughs> Amart, what do you guys think of Super Mario Sunshine? It's a great game. Big fan. People talk crap about it all the time. They do? People hate the game. What? I don't know why. People legitimately hate because people see it as a bad follow-up to Super Mario 64. But it's not. Yeah, it's, but it's not. It, it's I, I I agree. You know what, Tim? You you have a lot of hard time. You want to skip on to Super Mario or to a Crash Bandicoot? No, I want to beat this game. We're not gonna beat it. We're gonna do Crash Bandicoot 2. We gotta go through all. Oh, we do. Yeah. So you know, okay, let me just finish this level. Yeah. Yeah. Burn through Chris. Let me all right. <laughs> Very under underappreciated. Uh, local player friend says, and Super Metroid is sweet too. I can just sit through Punk anymore for some reason, maybe just because I can't play turn based hard games anymore. Really? I mean, funny enough, I just literally just started getting the uh, Super uh, not Super Mario, Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh, yeah. But I love that game. I don't know, I just really love turn based. And one of the best ones that have recently come out is uh, Persona 5. What? So, I don't know, I, I guess it's just me. Naked. Naked. Oh, naked. Okay. okay, you can just quit. Okay, just a new game. Okay, kill him. Kill him. No. Uh, let's keep going the list. We got two more left. Okay. Super Punch Out. Great game. Fun. Extremely hard. <laughs> Probably the hardest one on here? No, nah, Super Golden Ghost got that. Never mind. Yeah. No, never mind. But Punch Out's still pretty hard. Uh, I'm trying to actually think. Is there anything that's harder? Contra 3! Okay, how do I go back? Uh, click start. I like Ant Man. I'm just looking at your posters. Ant Man's good. Just wish Edgar Wright directed it. Yeah, but I'm kind of glad he didn't. Sp yeah. Sped up the baby driver. <laughs> Sped up the baby driver. We'll get onto that later. Yeah, we will definitely be. How do we have one person but actually, 40 wait. comments? Um, what were you saying? Thank you. What's this say? Can we just. Oh, we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk major spoilers that's, of Baby Driver, but that's at the end of the podcast. So anyone who's joining in right now, don't worry about it. We will let you know. You guys can exit out if need be. But for now, everyone just... died. 
you. How dare you? I was joking. That was a joke. That was an actual spoiler. We're sorry, guys. No, no, that, that, that wasn't. God, shut up. She destroyed the whole movie. Shut up! It's not the ending. It's really sad. And finally, the last one, which in many people's eyes is the best one, Yoshi's Island. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yoshi's Island. It's it's literally one of the best spin-off games that hasn't had a better game in the series since the first one. Well, I'm a big fan of Yoshi 64, whatever it's called. Yoshi, Yoshi Story? Yoshi Story 64. Mm. Yeah. Oh no, there's a sequel to Yoshi's Island, it's on the DS. <laughs> Not the touch and go. Okay, what's the story with Yoshi's Island? So he finds baby Mario, mm -hmm. and that's the story of Mario? Like, yeah, no. the... He was raised by Yoshi? Kamex? Yeah, yeah, he was technically raised by Yoshi. Which, I don't understand how the hell he ended up in, uh... New York, of all places, after that. Probably that's why he's... New York. And yes, he's based in New York because we know this from the goddamn cartoon. Which is canon. For some other reason. So, wait. So the reason he can only say his name is because he was raised by an animal? Mario? Yeah. I really feel like the stork took a wrong turn in Albuquerque, went to uh, the Mushroom Kingdom, and they... Oh, okay, you're right. You're right. He's, 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 but I still... That's a spaghetti! It's me, Mario, and... Are, are, I'm sorry. Are you are you are you implying that he's slow? No. Are you implying that he's slow in the head? Is that is that you know? How dare you? That's Mario you're talking about. Is that a laptop or is it a phone? I always thought it was, I always thought it was a laptop. Here's the thing though. In the new trailer, she, she, we see her taking uh, selfies with it. Huh. So I'm pretty sure it's a tablet now. <laughs> oh god. It closed like this. Like it's 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 like it's like if she was using like a phone or a tablet. Although I might be wrong. Maybe she did have a phone in that scene. Whatever. Um, another question. What about Star Fox 2? We already did talk about that, but yeah, it's my favorite Star Fox. Game. Even though we've never played it. We've never played a game. No, never in our lives. Not. There's not a chance in hell we would have played a game that was never because released. The game was never released. Yeah, of course not. So that'd, be, that'd be illegal. Um, sorry. And amazing. Uh, Super Punch is awesome. Real time combat. Which is a hard style RPG gameplay. Uh, I can see that. What? Different genre. Some uh, lol two four seven still talking about uh, RPGs. He's saying that he likes real time oh, yeah. combat. And I can see that. But I like both. I'm just uh, I, I like I'm, I'm well versed in all of them. Very. No, sorry. Lols, he says. Amar, what about GTA 5? Never hear you talking about it. Do you guys play it? Uh, Which I game? own GTA 5. Oh. I just haven't played it in such a long time. We and were big. I mean, we still are. Yeah, it's, it's the best GTA, but uh, there's so many games out nowadays. Well, well, well. Really if it isn't Crash Bandicoot. I mean, maybe I'll do like a nostalgic view of it later in the future, but for now, yeah, GTA 5 is already there. It's, but it's I'd a great game. Yeah. Great game, yeah. When it, was, when it came out, we down. played it for months on it. Yeah. What about Star Fox 2? I'm getting an extra Surrounding you are a series of fine doors. Right now, Through each door lies a well hidden crystal. Yes. Alright, that's a really good crystal. Name is Neo. Like this. Neo Cortex. Bring me the crystal. Wow, oh. That is all I can say for now. Nico! We will speak. I love that freaking line from Red and Ready. Get the shot of the shepherd. Hey, boy! Hey, boy! What was your favorite Cartoon Network TV show? Cartoon Network TV show? Specifically? Yeah. I like Teen Titans. Okay, well you, can't argue, you can't argue with that. I mean, it's... Yeah, uh, I, I was recently remembering uh, how much I loved Billy and Mandy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Billy and yeah. Mandy was funny. I still... Is it weird that my mom likes Billy and Mandy? No. It's yeah. a great show. Great, <laughs> like, one of the best written shows of its time. I am say Tangelo. I mess with the equilibrium. What I really love about the show also, or this one scene, is that uh, <laughs> Billy is such an asshole. He can be a complete, whole person. In the scene where I think he's in a courtroom and he's... Uh, with his son? Yeah, with the, the spider. It's, yeah, that's... It's so heart-wrenching. It really is. The spider who's pretty much imprinted on him is like, Daddy, why won't you love me? Because you're, because you're disgusting. You're nasty. Please love me. I'm like, this is terrible, Billy. Come on. There's one where like the spider's like, like I can't have you, Daddy. No one will. It's like, it's so dark. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is a series about kids who play the Grim Reaper. It's probably gonna get a little dark. That could be lighthearted. <laughs> what? That could be lighthearted. Have you met Mandy? Or I mean, or Billy? Have you seen them? Nice. Billy's Mandy's not a light-hearted human being. <laughs> I also remember a lot of the scene where his friend Erwin's avoiding him. He Erwin, calls him on the phone. Erwin, yeah. Erwin. Hey, Erwin, pick up the phone! Erwin, pick up the phone! Erwin, 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 Erwin. He just tortures him mentally. And, uh... 
Oh, oh shit. And then Erwin's grandpa is Dracula, but he's also an ex-pimp. Hey. hey. No! There's no! Of that. No, God! They're not TNT boxes. I wasn't trying to jump on them. I, I... Why do you keep saying there's no God with this thing? You gotta hit the red box. I got it? How else are you gonna blow it up? I don't wanna blow it up. You wanna get all the boxes? Oh, those care. count. I forgot. Yeah, everything counts. All boxes. Even, not the, nitro? even the nitro? Yeah, well, you have to hit the nitro box at the very end, remember? Oh, yes. There's a nitro switch. Yes. Alright, so Super NES Classic. Um, pre orders are still up in the air right now, at least currently for the time of this podcast. I'm trying to very, very hard to get one. I, either Amazon, Best Buy, I don't care, I have the money for it. I'll, I'll buy it. I, I, I want to get this one. Where the, where the NES one, I was very, you know, yeah, I'll get it or maybe not. The Super NES one, I really want. It just looked really cool. And there's a lot of games in that thing that I don't have to worry about buying physical releases anymore. Although that would be cool to own them physically, and I just don't really care at this point. I think uh, if I had the money, I'd like to own the physical copies. So, so would I. But you know what? I don't want to spend uh, ninety five dollars for a exactly. Final Fantasy three. Exactly. So, one thing they didn't include, I didn't want to mention this: Chrono Trigger. Uh, what a misfire! I know. What? That's fine. I already own Chrono Trigger on my Vita, the PS one version. Granted, yes, I have to do stupid load times, but whatever. It's fine. Still like the game. Have trouble with it? Yeah. No comments. Oh Bumper fruit is a retarded cousin of peaches. Okay. Retarded. Oh, mango. It looks. Yeah, I'd say more more mangoey. I don't know if it's peaches. I can't wait for scalpers to buy like ten each and try to charge two hundred bucks for a piece of them. Yeah, you know what? If I ever meet one of those scalpers, I'll kill them. Uh, and I'm not being figurative. After I will literally at a fair kill price. them. I will. Strangle them, choke away their air supply, until they pass away. Question. What's the little, like, mask? Oh, that's, uh, Uka Uka. Wait, no, Aku Aku. Aku Aku. It's Aku Aku. Uh, he's, he <laughs> helps you out, and pretty much it's, he takes a hit for you. If you get two, you get two hits. If you get three of them... You unlimited. It's kind of like no, no, the Mario Star. Yeah. Oh. But it goes away eventually. You get uh, two again. It's like a mystical. Like, really yes. The cool song? Hell yeah. You should do it, damn it. Find it. Yeah, I keep sucking. That's the only reason I have I, I, I need to play more. You can play this whole time. That's true. Um, uh, Alright. We're done with that. I'm hoping you've seen this. Rick and Morty season 3 trailer? Yeah, uh, trailer? No, I refuse to watch the trailer. Why? Because it doesn't show anything. It just says, it's gonna be the darkest year of our lives, Morty, and just shows small little bits that you will never get the context of. I, uh, I love the show so much. I was just scared it would show anything. All right, just want to say fine. Cover your ears. Uh, pickle Morty. I mean, I mean Pickle Rick. Pickle. Oh, I. Well, I've seen the concept art for Pickle Rick. Not concept art. I'm talking about full-fledged badass Pickle, pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. How do you get badass Pickle Rick? Oh, trust me. You want to I've seen the show. Well, I One. Oh, the trailer. The trailer literally goes. And by the way, they're not kidding. They even referenced it. Did I mention we're gonna? What? What is Isn't it? the mom like a fine surgeon? Yeah, uh, just horses, horses yeah. Yeah, yeah equine. Is, it, oh, is, that, is that what you call it? I thought equine applied to more, more than just... She only does big horses. Mm. I know, but like, wouldn't equine also She does race under? horses. Yeah, race horses. That's what it was. Specifically race horses. I thought I just wanted to make it very specific. That's all I was saying. Regardless, I know, I know that. In the trailer, they talk about it and they say... They even referenced like the first episode of the... Uh, See, I told you, Morty, dark, because it's really dark. You, you're probably right to not watch the trailer. Um, if you're gonna watch it out there, uh, still watch it. It's amazing. Yeah, but... you did it. Yeah. You're not done yet. Uh, oh yeah. But you're not. He's not even close. To it. God, I suck. Um. So yeah, since Tim, you want to talk about that? Dad? No, no, we can talk about it. Oh, oh. You're in the room. I just don't want to watch it. That's kind of fuck me. In the what I talk body. about is Brian yeah, kind of ruining. Thanks, guys. Regardless, fine. Rick and Morty is hands down one of the best, most original shows. So funny. Ever made. Also, like, there's not many shows that I have literally watched the, uh, the both seasons of like, like five times in a row. Yeah. yeah you watch uh, hey, <laughs> hey, priorities, okay? Priorities. Yeah. Hey, how you see that? Well, fuck you. Fuck you, Seal. I like to I gotta correct yourself because it sounds like you're yelling at Mickey, buddy. <laughs> no, 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 he said, I was actually, fuck you! I was, fuck you, see? I was talking about the R&B singer. Hey, man. First I, of all, that's a C-line? 
Oh, you're right. Wait, the R&B singer's a sea lion? Wait, wait! It's not a steel. This it is not a focus. It is it has a, the It's an otter. Because it can walk it's not, like it. You can walk it's not an otter. It's not. That, Ow! You. That hit. It hit your baby toe. It, yeah, okay, I'm dealing with the toe, but. You, you, you got You got yeah, it, sir. Welcome to uh, the Katana Studio Science House. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm not. Well, it's, it's not a focus. No, no, it's, it's, it's fine. You're, you're training to be a animal dog. I can go down there, Feels kind of like do the worm when they try to walk on land. They kind of just, yeah. That's a beautiful impression. Sorry, you couldn't see that out there in uh, internet land, but I just went on the ground right now, uh, drenched myself in water, and started to flopping around. Yeah, he did that thing like in that Kevin Smith movie. It was pretty creepy. Oh, oh, no. The, yeah. we're not, we're not, look, I love Kevin Smith, but his old shit. Not his new shit. Tusk was not great, and Red State killed me. It, it, it was the biggest piece of crap I've seen in my life. Yeah, it was. It, it was one of the worst movies I saw. Yeah, I'm not a fan. This, uh, this decade. Sorry, Kevin Smith, if you're listening, but, uh... Yeah, we're fans, just... You, you gotta stop smoking the weed. Um, it helps others. Not so much you. Regardless. Um, let's move on to, um, something I just want to throw in. Just, just talking about, you know, the gaming, uh, scene in general. The Halo devs, Bun uh, not Bungie, uh, 343 Studios. Yeah. Have pretty much given their have given their thumbs up to a fan-made PC game called Installation Auto uh, Zero One. So yeah, they they gave it to blessing. Hear that, Nintendo, Sega, stop knocking down freaking you know fan games. Dude, even fucking Star Wars, the biggest IP on the planet, said yeah, you can make fan films, it's fine. Yeah, like what, what what's the harm? It helps out your damn like oh they're taking away stuff from us. Okay, fine. No, they're not. And guess in some cases like Metro Two the remake. Uh, there's a PC remake that, you know, I may or may not own it, but you know, it's bad to own it. But regardless, it, um, just, they're just fan-made games. They're not, if they're not making money off it, especially if they're not making money off it. Oh, yeah, it's definitely noted. You can see it's your phone, right? You think they, what? Yeah, I think she's, she's got a point. Like Game developers, like, will, uh, they'll take, they'll take trips to, like, zoos and, or other countries, and, like, they'll, because they like to get their shit right. Like, uh, granted, the Bandicoot is not 100% exactly what the Bandicoot looks like, but okay. if yeah. you experimented up enough, it would look like that. Mm -hmm. Which, is Which is funny because Sonic looks more like a hedgehog than Crash does like a Bandicoot, and that's saying something. I, I guess. He just, he's, at least he's got the sort of the nose. I mean, Sonic looks more like a porcupine. I didn't know that yeah. hedgehogs actually like to run a lot. <laughs> oh, they do. They do. That's why, that's why they got but it. But aren't echidnas famously really lazy? Hey man, or are kids? That's what Knuckles is. I mean, it's the same thing. What has Knuckles done in the series, really? Other than just get worded up at the end for some odd reason. That was so bad. Yeah, don't don't redesign your characters to look stupid. That's all I'm gonna say. How about just look at Crash? They redesigned him. Kind Granted, he's picking wedgie right now. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact of the matter is. His translation from the old era to the new era is well, great. But this looks way better than what they did to him in like, that middle period. Let's not, it's not talk about Twin Towers. Yeah. These holograms are hard to maintain. Not about uh, During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across uh, okay, a so force that threatens from the world to destroy 247. the world. I gotta dump the my ass and come back. Okay. What did he say? Oh, right, I can dump my you ass and come back. Are oh, you taking a 10 2, pal? It is okay. The problem. I was explaining to Nikki with 10 1 and 10 2 or. You know, like on set, if you got a piss, oh. say, I'll take a 10 1. By the way, I don't know how to say this. Who says this shit? Oh, I say 10 1. But, uh, yeah. you know, I, I get this, but like, I get that they're, you know, they're, they're lingo terms to, you know, get some of the newbies out of the way or, you yeah. know, try to psych people out. But nobody really says this shit. No. Unless someone says, oh, he's a new guy. Huh, let's mess with him. Hey, you got any C 37s? 47. 47. I keep mixing that up. C 47, C 37. Yeah. If I say it on set, I'll know what the fuck I'm talking about. Regardless, yeah. it's not that important. Um, Stinger, like I said, if you're on a set and you're saying something that is a shortened version of what you right, want, right. that is fine. Hey, can I get an extension cord? Hey, can I get a Stinger? Uh, yeah. Easy. Stinger. I know what you're talking about. Well, can I get an extension cord? Uh, okay. It's, it still works. But like, um, can I get a clothespin? Can I get a C47? How many more freaking uh, syllables do I have to say there? Yeah. There's no real story, no one actually knows. For the actual... No one knows the history of that word. There's, there's a lot of speculation. 
through. My favorite one, though, is when gas guys go, hey, I'm gonna need a butt plug. What? I'm gonna need a butt plug. The thing, I think it's the hang light. Uh, now, we're, now we're just starting to sound like, like, like yokels who I'm gonna need a talking about. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Tim. Shit. You wanna tell him that I've never played a uh, certain game series either, huh? Wanna do that? Uh, no, no, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Dabbler. Do we have any comments? Uh, new comments. Uh, currently, what are 247? Close pins. And Close pins. Low butt plugs. I think. Low yeah. butt plugs. That's about right. Yep. Uh, but, uh, yeah, give me a second. That some people silence someone, someone you know doing a podcast. Don't know what the fuck to say. What? What? I'm sorry. I'm actually really focused on this. When we play Overwatch, I, I'd rather talk than play because I suck. Oh, I got you. This I'm like video. Okay, I got you. Okay, but this is why I'm kind of doing the whole leading. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying that you should be talking. I'm just gotcha, gotcha. saying stupid shit. This one. Okay, so Spider-Man: Homecoming. We were talking about this in the last podcast, but today came out Spider-Man Homecoming VR experience. How's that? And I will tell you this right now. It sucks a load of doggy dick because it was terrible. It looked so bad. It looked like the biggest piece of PR. Dude, it 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 lasts like five minutes. And the what? best part, the best part is the very end. Not because, uh, you know, it's funny because it's finally over. No, no, no. Crash can't swim? No. No. Crash can't can't swim. Ben, Bandicoot can't swim? Yeah. No, that's a lie. You would know more. I don't think I... Uh, if you ever deal with a bandicoot, you're gonna have to uh, let us know. Take photos. Any Australian people out there, let us know in the comments. Um, but yeah. Fucking shut up. Fucking suck up, motherfucker. This is okay. a, a kid show, man. This is a kid show. This is a kid show? No. Shit, I've been fucking up this whole time. Okay. <laughs> you, uh. You're gonna get the FCC on our ass, man. Calm down. The FCC won't let me be. Let me be me. Okay, so we're not. Oh. <laughs> shit! Evident phase is oh god his hair is turning yellow. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, wait, you didn't know about that. No, no, no. But he either. did tell me about that. He told me about his. Uh, oh, okay. Let's just let the internet know about my my wankster news. Hey, hey, you don't, she's the one that brought it up. Okay. So she's the one that brought it up. I just said hair turned yellow. She brought the actual point. I never actually dyed my hair yellow. Let's hey, hey, you know, man, it's okay, man. I got pictures. <laughs> oh, so but yeah, the Spider-Man VR. It, it's literally. You use the move controllers, you shoot webs at stuff, it's like a stupid target range. Oh god. Uh, you stand on the edge of a crane, that's kind of cool, for about no! one minute. And then, um, you swing away. And again, this is where it ends. The swing away, uh -huh. it does the whole darkening screen thing around you, so you know you don't get motion sick. Okay. But I got some serious motion from it, but I thought it was cool. Really? Just make that! Just make that! Let's we'll take the fucking thing. Um, oh I'm gonna use... Oh, it's over your nose. But yeah, Tim, take it away. Uh, pa 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 pa. Any? Yeah, you, I, you, 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 you What do we leave off? Talk about? Well, we were just talking about the Spider-Man VR thing, how bad it was. Oh. Uh, now it's just time to fill in some time before we go to the spoiler cast. Oh god! How many lives do we have left? I don't know, I've been zero. destroying them. Zero! Okay! That's nice. What do you want to talk about? Pa 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 pa. I want to know. Oh, I want to see the com. I want to see the comment section. Well, the comment section right now is kind of uh, bare bones. Spider-Man VR on PSVR. Yes, it is an experience, and it's available right now on the Sony PlayStation Store. It came out this morning, along with this amazing game. It's, it's free, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Is that a life? Yeah. Well, not really, but. Uh, yeah. Fuck off. You know what's funny? This is much smoother than the first one. I mean, obviously, it came later, they improved some stuff. I don't... What's happening? Well, oh, there goes that. Okay, so I'll, I'll move on. Oh, I'll retry. I kind of miss... I kind of miss Cortex insulting you at the end. He didn't too? I don't, well, I don't know about two, but definitely in one, when you lose, he goes, oh, crash, ha, oh, ha, blah, 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 blah. I know in three he does. 
um because it varies either you get the boss that you're currently fighting yeah or cortex or or the totem guy yeah can i have that back please thank you back up that mr put the right Hey, let her be. <laughs> You're what? Oh, okay. Yeah, um. So, I think. This is completely off topic, guys. Or no, it's not. Anyway, I think, uh, I, I really thought this jet board was real for a long time. Oh, that you guys should buy one? When I was a little kid, I really wanted one. Um, that was, this is before the internet was kind of. The mainstream just been shitting out amazing contraptions that right. actually exist nowadays. Um, I want to know does this thing exist at all in any shape oh, or form? Oh, it does. Really? I mean, that seemed like that. It's like a surfboard with a motor on it. What the? Legitimately a surfboard with a motor on it. It's great. Wait, you gotta do that. You gotta do that, hi. What? Like green question mark. Oh! I, I'm an idiot. Okay, right. Fuck it. You died on the same part seven times in a row. Thank you! We know! Oh, thanks, pal. Yeah. Why don't you play the game? No, seriously. Come over. Oh, God. Do it! Alright, guys. I'm heading out. Awesome stream. Keep up the good work. No! Don't leave us! Thank you. We're lonely Enjoy people. In. Well, let's keep doing this a little bit more. Get some lives. I only have one life. That's not good. Come on. Four lives. Let's see. Okay, let's see what's breaking. I guess right now. I do not want to go to baby driver just yet. No, no, no. Let's. How long have we been streaming? Probably like an hour. An hour and twenty minutes. Okay. Not terrible. Uh, I'm trying to think of trailers or anything like that that I saw recently. Hey. Now here comes the hard part. Oh, that's right. Oh, Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Give me a drink! Is this? What was this? It's a ram time, baby! Do it! Don't get the bouquet yet. No. Oh god. No! no. Oh you gotta hit the bouquet. I see. Kill that boy. Got all the boxes, right? Yeah. 34 out of 74. Oh. Good job. Damn it. It's that other section I have to go through. I have to unlock it. Oh yeah. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. And more damn it. Little 247 says later. Later. Pleasure having you. Uh, what else? All right, breaking news. Um, what the hell? No, everyone just talking about Crash Bandicoot. Oh, Valerian. What about it? Review? Uh, did we talk about the last time? Valerian, I said uh, you, I, 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 I said we... I was optimistic. You said you said you're you're you're, you're waiting. The first trailer. Is... Put me on. Oh, do we not do Turtle Woods already? I suppose not. Okay, I guess we're going Turtle Woods. Turtle Woods. Turtle, turtle, turtle Woods. Isn't there turtle, some kind turtle. of uh, secret level in this place? I believe so. I vaguely remember. I just look. Crash Bandicoot 3 was the only one I ever actually 100 percented Yeah. I played one. I played two a lot more. But three was my bread and butter, which we're going to get onto fairly soon, hopefully. But for now, let's just enjoy. Is it weird that it's it's not even really registering with me right now? I just feel like I'm playing Crash Bandicoot. I know, and it, I love it. I like that's all it feels like. Like it's not like oh I'm revisiting an old friend. It's more like yeah, it's just you know I, I just feel like how I used to feel when I was a kid. This is just a great, great experience. It's really funny that they finally it's nice. It's really funny that they finally brought this game back because I've had multiple friends. The re most recent I can think of is Rudy where they just bought a PS1 for like 10 bucks and then bought all the games for pretty cheap. And uh, and so I, I like I played this maybe two years ago, all three of them. Oh, yeah. Played the crap out of them. And so, yeah, 
Yeah, it's a it's a graphic upgrade, and it's awesome. But it's also like just a nice little. Get it? There's a question mark. Oh, a rat. Only five boxes. That's kind of easy. Oh, it's the first one. I love that soundtrack. Granted, I still do love the original, but uh, this is a good little upgrade for music. Oh, I, I didn't know they changed the music. Nice. It's just remastered. It's, it's old. No, they, they remade it. It's mm. like new instruments. The old ones, I think, were just pretty much. Is it me, or was was uh, was the jungle a really popular setting for video games back in the day? Yeah, because, you know, it was a dangerous place. I just think, like, some of the games I played most were this, Tie the Tasmanian Tiger, um... Uh, Ape Escape. Ape Escape, and also an obscure one is the, uh, the GameCube, uh, the GameCube Tarzan game, which I was a big fan of. There we go. Nikki. She awake? She's knocked out. Kill him! You gotta do your spin, right? I don't know. I think you can. Sure, no. You know the boxes, damn it. Oh, damn it. I think you already missed a box, actually. You should get down a hidden one. You fit your whole range, you know, okay? It's the first level. We don't do that in the level. Okay, dokie, whatever you say, pal. Okay, dokie, dokie, dokie. I don't say nothing. I know fuck anybody. Short round, what the fuck? What? Is doing short rounds voice offensive? No! That's his voice! Okay. Okay. The character himself is is, is offensive to <laughs> an extent. But imitating the character, what's wrong with imitating a, a little Chinese boy? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just something about saying, what's wrong with blank a little Chinese boy? Hey, <laughs> you, you said that. I'm, you, you must agree with me. No, but I, I didn't say that. The blank part. No, but any blank. What's wrong with skiing with a little Chinese boy? Just saying, with a little Chinese boy. You're starting to sound a little bit like, uh, like a Jack. Three crystals. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. Joke. I see you. And, uh, yeah, three seconds later, now on the cover news. <laughs> uh. You wanna move on to the next level? Or we're, we're at the boss yet? Wait, the pits. Yeah. This is my idea. I'm doing the pits. Okay, I call Crash Dash. Damn it! <laughs> Oh, he's uh, oh, he's complimenting us. Fifty percent of your shit to the stream right now. You'll get more views if you keep it up. I know. Thank you. Even though he probably listens this after the fact, but yes, thank you for the kind words. Nice fella. Hey, look what's happening here! I'm on left. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Come for me! Holy oh, bad ass! <laughs> the meth is a hell of a drug. The thing is a hell of a drug. We gotta start doing that more. Dead. Oh, kill him! You're too. dying. You're dying. Checkpoint. Check, check, please. <laughs> this game is just gonna be the end. <laughs> or the end of them. Okay, so okay, uh, guess what? Holy oh, shit! Dude, we gotta we gotta get on. You know what? This is. We gotta get on some uh, movies I just heard about. Good. There's an Australian screenwriter um, who, in the '70s during the Ozploitation era, he wrote all these movies. One of them is called Razorback. Which you may have heard of. And Razorback, so what I was reading was there are only three um, quote unquote Jaws ripoffs, heavy quotes here. That were good? That were good, that they, they say. One was called Alien by Ridley Scott. The one's called House. By <laughs> no. It really was a ripoff rip though. I know, yeah. Which is uh, weird. I do love that movie. Maybe that's the, that's the like, sometimes. The one. secret hidden version. Yeah. The other one is called The Car. Oh! <gasps> Which I've never With Jamie seen. Lee Curtis? It might be it. I heard it's really good. Um, and the other one is called Razorback. And Razorback is about like this Australian beast. Kinda like a werewolf. But um, apparently it's effing amazing and we should uh, obscure review that shit. Alright, we're gonna be doing a little overtime because we to... sometime this week we gotta do those other videos. Yes. We have yeah. to do the rope cop one. Oh yeah. Sorry. But no, you got I'm not gonna be here for that, so have to let, do me, it let me know. So I can upload it. Just uh, let me know. So I can put it in the day. 
Wait, do I need that? <laughs> I love huh? this crawl. Huh? It's always so slow and weird. Ah! Two, three, four, five. Boom. Two, three, four, five. Can you do the slide properly? Fucked up. Wouldn't you die that way though? No. Yeah, they fall on you. Oh wait, go around it, right? Go, go this way. Remember, it's a it's technically a three-dimensional game. You could have walked around and knocked the boxes. Yeah, and I still have one left. Oh, no, you can't. No, in, in this oh. no, it's two D in these versions. Oh, okay. Never mind. Seconds. I thought it was. I thought it was full. No. Yes. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Is it giving you that life so you can get those? You didn't even get them. What's the matter with you? Crap myself. Oh, get your back up a tad, Mr. Foot doll. Stab your parents. You'll stab my what? <laughs> hey, what? Who? The devil. Jesus. <laughs> Wait, you can go all the way around on that hey, one. Hey, just, just, there's no, there's no consistency. Here. What's the matter with you people? You're fucking shit up. <laughs> I hate his crawl, but I love it. Nested creature that just fucking doesn't Rawr. listen to your goddamn button presses with his fingers. Salad fingers. <laughs> okay, uh, uh what, what let's talk about, dude. Come on. Uh do we have any more subjects? We I mean from the from the base set, no, but like Okay, I said, okay, I have I one to keep it open. I have one that I haven't researched for but Nikki brought it up today and I thought it was interesting. Uh has anyone ever heard of Breatharianism? Uh, the way I learned about you, do you know about the the Barbie lady, the lady who had all these plastic surgeries to look exactly like a Barbie doll? She yeah. looks very gross. Um, yeah. She claims she's she practices breatharianism, which is when you live only off of sunlight and oxygen. And she had this thing where she was like, you know, I haven't been hungry in like a week. I'm is she dead. Uh, she's still alive. I think she's barely eating. She's trying to make the the full conversion to oh, breatharianism. So death. so death. So she wants to die. Um, Folks, this is when pop culture goes a little too far. <laughs> you gotta let it go. I gotta say, there are only two people on this planet uh, who I legitimately wish death upon, and that is Flat Earthers, and now breatharianism. Yeah, I'm sorry, if you're a Flat Earther listening to this, we, we, yeah, we don't it, want your this, views. This is, not, this is not a joke, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! I did not know that. I didn't die from it? Yeah, I thought, I, was, I thought you were gonna get crushed or something. Thank you. I don't think you can go back to those, buddy. Oh, that's why they're there. Yeah. I got it. You gotta I'm do like stupid every thing. other one, right? Hey, man. Shut up. <laughs> hey, buddy. You got it. You got it. I'll hurt you, man. I'll, I'll hurt you. Alright, so let's move on. She's a liar. <laughs> She's a liar. <laughs> Just quoting Looper as <laughs> a. She's not my mom. She's a liar. Kill that kid. Kill that kid. I still love that scene. He, he's about to, you know, go help him when the mom grabs him. He's just, he's confused, looks like, wait, what? And, and just, uh, he just, you know, slowly. the, the plumber is taking his pants off. <laughs> Why are there saw blades? Oh, no, buddy, fashion? you watched Pooper. <laughs> Don't tell me there's a real Pooper. There's a comedy joke called Pooper. But I get I don't that, know if there's but a I don't porno. want it to be. I really hope so. The, 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 the closest I've ever seen a porno is the college humor video, where he sees himself and he immediately starts taking his pants off <laughs> and he wants to suck his own dick, which is. <laughs> this is when college humor used to be good, then it went shit, yeah. and now they're good again. Yeah, they are. They, they, they had a very weird hiatus where they were just bad. I don't. Uh, the college humor is good again. I don't want to name drop, but do you know that? Remember that girl James and I worked for in LA, and she, her name starts with a K. And uh, what about her? Yeah. Um, she she's she's like. Uh, prop and costume designer for College Humor now. Good, uh, dude. I was like, damn, fucking kick ass. Hey, she's been doing great jobs. With the, I mean, the latest one, what? Did, did you watch has the, a beehive on his head. She That's, designed that beehive. Oh my gosh. She on on Facebook. She was like, she was like, I'm actually pretty. This is. I think she said something like, this. The prop I'm most proud of. I didn't get the fucking crystal. What? I don't even know crystal. where that would have been. Are you going back in? I'm going back in. Okay. Ew. Ew. Hey, hey, hey! You can't beat the game if you don't get the crystal. That's true. Or at least go to the next world. Oh yeah, you gotta... Damn it. I do want to beat this boss and at least move on to the next. <laughs> when they give him the hat. Oh, cute! 
The what? In the college humor. When they put that hat on him, and he does this. It's not helpful. How's this game? So I'm not gonna mess around anymore. I'm not even gonna go for the boxes next time. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, where the fuck is that? Is he normal or is he normal? Oh, oh, he's he's normal. normal. He's normal. He's normal. He's gonna die. I almost did! <laughs> Oh. You're dead. Or I was completely invulnerable if I wasn't, uh... Hey, buddy. Hey, Bob. I'm going to get up for you. No! Checkpoint. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, my God! Fuck it! So, fuck it. Okay, that... I, I went away. Dude, I went right last time. You know, um, so I was reading uh, movie reviews. Cause I've been trying to, I've been thinking about doing review stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was just kind of reading some. To... Is it because of what we did uh, yesterday? Maybe we did everything. Yeah, yeah, and I've been thinking about it for a while, but now that school's not in the way, it's like, oh, I can do what I want now. Whatever I do. And uh, so I was reading them, and uh, Roger Ebert gave, uh, he gave. Uh, uh, Shaun of the Dead, four stars, but gave it like such a mediocre review, or th three stars, I mean. But it was kind of like, yeah, you know, it's kind of fun, and da da da. And it, even everyone in the comments was like, was like, it's such a mediocre review for something you gave three stars, buddy. And then I noticed, oddly enough, he never reviewed Hot Fuzz in his whole career. And I wonder if he ever saw it. Didn't he die by then? No, he he died in 2013. Yeah, well, Richard Roper at least. The guy. I didn't check Roper actually. Well, Good he, idea. He replaced uh, Siskel. Yeah. Dude, I really agree a lot more than. God damn! Fucking Roper. Actually, I was not a I mean, Siskel, Siskel fan. Siskel was really. He was always so um, pessimistic. He was boring, dude. Yeah. The movies he liked, it, I really liked. You know, it was really, really, really dull and really like. Not, you know, not giving him the. I am a big fan bad of. bad on him. He's, he's a great reviewer. He did, you know, he knew what he was talking oh, about. Oh, totally, yeah. But his taste was not mine at all. No, no. But I really liked them. Um, their show. I watch YouTube clips of it all the time where they argue. It's yeah. Great. When they're, when they're arguing, that's when the show's the best. Yeah. Because you know, that's when you're getting the most of the actual review. The best one I remember. I think it was. I think well, it was. They reviewed uh, Independence Day for me, but yeah. I did not see that. But we'll, we'll talk about that then. Because they saw they. Watched Goodfellas, and I think Roger Ebert loved Goodfellas. And uh, yeah, goes like, you know, just all too much violence. Like, dude, yeah, stop. This isn't this is an already movie. Yeah, there's gonna be violence. It's pretty. He thought it was like, you know, oh, it's just like every other gangster film. It's like, no. no. What are the gangster movies actually come out all the time? What, Dick Tracy? I'm sorry, what are you talking about? <laughs> I like Dick Tracy. So do I. But he, Dick like Tracy. They don't like. Yeah. That was weird. That was a, that was a passion project for Warren Beatty. Dude, he actually I realized recently that Warren Beatty only does passion projects, and most of them are good. Yeah, because he's a pretty good director. He's a, he's a good director. He's a good actor. He's a good writer. But I will say this, he's not exceptional. Yeah. At being a writer. Yeah. No, actually, he's he's okay. Again, not saying anything bad. I mean, he's one of the best fucking filmmakers alive right now. Yeah. Probably. At least he does it all. He's yeah. A, he's a great guy. No, yeah. I was reading that that book. Uh, uh, Easy Riders and Raging Bulls, yeah. and he stole a lot of writing credit. He would like demand to be credited as a writer for a lot of stuff, I guess, oh. which I thought was pretty interesting. Like, I think Shampoo, he claims he wrote a big chunk of it. Okay, what the hell? What's... Why? Why? He's in Shampoo, right? I yeah, so. I think so. What is like? Uh, what's his name? The, adding, or the, the writing credit for oh, freaking Edward Hulk and Norton. And that guy was like, I've never written with a partner, and I never will. And I especially wouldn't be with Edward Norton. God damn it, Edward Norton. Great actor. Just a, apparently a real pain in the ass to work with on Seriously. set. Seriously. Not that we've worked with him. He's, but he's been, uh, he's been oh, kicking ass lately, though. Yeah. Just because he has the directors who literally go, like, hey, Edward, uh, yeah. you, you do like, it again, I'll fucking kill you. You're not going to, uh, like, try to jump on writing credit from a, on a Wes Anderson movie. Wes Anderson's like, shit, God damn it. Yeah. Probably in the nicest, most West End. Yeah, I just assume. Look, look, oh, know, those are mines. I, I get where you're coming from. I don't want you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, but, just, like, oh, we... well, Edward, maybe you should um, shut the fuck up. <laughs> that, that would be beneficial for everyone, including you. Anyway, uh, see you on set. You. See you on set. Yeah. How would I have seen that? I can only imagine. Hey, this is this. You want to crash dash, sir? I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, actually, in the first game, these are the most unforgiving levels. Yeah. In the part three, they're at least, you know, 
the camera's a little... I don't know if the camera's going to push back, but at least about, you know, so yeah. goddamn in your face. These are always my least favorite levels because they're the like most infuriating. <laughs> but still, I love them. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Well, that's just fine. I don't want them gone. I'm going to keep uh, refreshing this page because Super NES Classic is still not up yet. It's really good. Did we talk about that? Okay, Marvel's Capcom Infinite. <laughs> fuck. What the fuck was that, that? That was a fuck for the game and also fuck that game. Dude, I, I, I played the story demo. Played the gameplay. Ugh. What was that? That whitewash. And I don't mean white people. I mean like that fucking... Just say watered down, buddy. Watered down. Jesus Christ. Well, I get it. I get what you, why you're using That used to be a thing that was... Anyway. It was a horrible use of support by the <laughs> You should have jumped on it, sir. Although you would have lost a life. You're not gonna die, just go for it. You're not gonna die. No, you're not gonna lose a life. I know, but I don't have to go back. I'm sorry. Is this game supposed to be easy? No. No! Dance monkey! Okay, <laughs> so. Uh, next up. Oh, what are we? I didn't even talk about Far Cry 5, I guess, in the top 10 games. Wait, no, we weren't done talking shit about. Oh, we're done. Oh, wait. I don't wanna talk about that crap anymore. Do, do you wanna keep going? You can. No, 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 no. Fine. Let's not beat a, a dead horse with a stick. Uh, I don't know what that means. Beat a dead horse with a stick. Beat a dead horse never heard that comment. Awesome. I'm gonna die real life. Fuck. It's five. 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 I got it. Oh. Oh. oh! Okay. What the hell? Let's move on to... What the kind of video? That was so smart. Um, okay, so what? some people are probably wondering, if you're watching this, oh, I, I did mention the last... Shit. Jesus, the last uh, podcast, we're probably going to do Arizona Sunshine Review. Turns out, uh, a lot of people got the game prior to me, and I'm kind of glad because uh, it stopped me from buying it. I'm not going to spend $40 for something that is not that great. And apparently, it's a big letdown, so... Sorry if you guys want to watch the video, but I'm not sorry for not spending that money. <laughs> uh, but remember, we... I, I mean, granted, I have had some people send me review copies, and I'll always tell you in the beginning if I do that, but... Most of my cop or most of my reviews are always the stuff that I actually pay for, which is why they call it consumer reviews. So, yeah, I so was not prepared to pay 40 bucks for something that I was going to use for. Okay, so they didn't send you a copy. No, no. If they sent me a copy, of course, it would be. Yeah. But, uh, in this case, they did not send me a copy. Fuck, it's a new world terror. I am, this is not true. This is not true. You say it's true, but it's not true. This is one of the only games to... Stop talking. Just stop talking. Just stop talking. Just, just beat the game with over here. Um, upcoming, uh, videos to look out for. And, again, this is a way for me to solidify that I'm going to be doing this so I don't want to bitch out at the end. I, if I do bitch, I'll have a reason, but not just, you know, like, eh, I'm not feeling it, because i got, I got to do this. Um, we're making a Robocop uh, Insane Panther. I'm not going to reveal what it's about. You can probably take a wild guess, but you guys are we're like doing it because it's it's going to be the 30-year anniversary for the first movie. So. Also, we've been talking about this one for years. So you have. You've been, de you've been demanding I do this. And you know what? I'm glad that we... I waited for you to come back from school. I didn't want to do it by myself because. You know, and also, do it. like, it, I can't believe it's here at the 30th anniversary. It's crazy. Uh, next up, we're doing an obscure review. We didn't mention this last time for a movie called Brain Damage. Mentioned about addiction. So I haven't made that yet, but we'll come to that. Obscure review. This is personal for me. I don't know if you want to be joining on this one, but fuck. Sometime in the summer, I got an obscure review for Pete's Peak. Oh, I haven't seen Pete. It's made somewhat of a resurgence in the sense that. Uh. Th uh the two actors, Pete Dan Tamborelli and uh I'm sure that guy's name. Shit. Ah, uh, I can't I can't not say his name. Older Pete. Oh, what? Yeah, man. How do you make that fucking jump? And I just realized that Petunia is freaking uh his uh tattoo is actually another Pete. Petunia. I'm an idiot. 
<laughs> okay. Um, Mike Morona. There we go. They have their own podcast, so not too good. Wait, Pete and Pete have a podcast? Yeah, the, the older Pete's. The Is it called actors. Pete and Pete? No, it's called uh, Danny and Mike's Adventures. That's funny. Or something like that. I like that they're still friends. Oh, that makes me smile. Dude, after a show like that, you can't not be a friend. That's true. Co-star. That was such a great show. And I gotta make it a scare because it's summertime. Fuck you. What a better time. Talk about Pete not fucking Pete. Hey, man. You know, man, I'm just, I'm just trying to entertain you. You're being a sweet cocky. Dude, I, these jumps are hard. It's because it's Crash Bandicoot 1. It's 2. Dumbass. The hardest one. This is two. Oh, two. You're stupid. You know what? <laughs> You're an idiot. You know what? I'd rather be stupid than be an idiot. Because I can correct stupidness. Oh. 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 oh sorry. You just blow your brains out. <laughs> is, is that your cure? The stupid? Yeah. Uh, another one. Ghost. Uh, <laughs> obscure view that I'm kind of throwing out there. This is not a good movie, by the way. Fuck it. This is not a good movie. You play and talk. Uh, 13 no. ghosts. My leg is numb. It's in its not that hard. Oh. Here we go. Oh. You can use the better for this. What are we to a Pete and Pete? I don't know what other one we talked about earlier. Uh, 13 Ghosts. Oh, I'll say this right now. It's not a good movie. I hate that movie. But the production design is so fucking good. Agreed. You know what? I like Michael Lewis. I don't care. Well, I liked him in uh, Scream, and uh, he's good in that movie too. The Descent. <laughs> that was not worth it. Isn't he the Descendants? Yeah, he's, uh, he's the guy who's banging George Clooney's wife. All right, oh, he was dude. He's dude. He's not a huge show. He's in that show, uh, like a side. Yeah. Work. He's in uh, Bloodline. No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, fuck, what's that game show? I love that show too. It's the one about the computers. Oh, like that's the one. Uh, 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 heat, hot, fire, fire. Fucking. Uh, I can think about it. And I got all the boxes. Nice. What's up? I like me now. Here we go. What the hell's it called? Fire, Salt and Fire. Halt and Catch Fire. Halt and Catch Fire. Great show, and he's in that as a bit role, as like a head executive. He comes back though, right? Like he's in he multiple episodes. Yeah, he comes back. Yeah. But he, damn, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's a great actor, and honestly, he deserves more roles. Yeah, yeah I agree. Huh? Wow, what? How long was I out? Well, That's we... it. I'd say about four or five hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're out at least four to five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid joke, but okay. Um, a versus video that I want to talk about yet. It's kind of a personal project eventually. Things are coming out. Ah, yes. But that versus a regular. You are uh, Hell no, I would never compare I that say, one. Uh, that would be, that, that'd be, be dead on arrival. <laughs> that'd be dead on arrival. No, no, no. Wait, can we not say? Yeah, I don't want it. Okay, well, well I, I, still, I still want to work out the kids before I, you know, solidify my okay. I don't want to give a bad. But be excited. Not really. <laughs> Dude, this is a personal thing. I, I like it. Whatever. Um, that is pretty much it for the time being. That are in the near future. Oh, Castlevania. We're going to talk about it. Right Castlevania. The, oh, the, the anime. The anime is coming out on Netflix on July 7th. Sadly, I won't be able to be. I, I'm hoping. If I can release a review around the same day that I'm going on a goddamn plane and heading over to the East Coast, I will try. What? Why are you in the East Coast? Oh, where? Oh, Rip for Rip. Yeah, so. That's the boss? Yeah, Ripper Roo. Ripper Roo, oh, yeah. Wait, where? Uh, it's not revealed where people live yeah, I'm, on I'm, the I'm, internet, I'm, but it's across the country. Okay, we're back. Okay, um. Yeah, Ruby! Final Fantasy 12. I did promise a video, but here's the thing. I'm not going to be here for that, so... I'm still going to love the game, and I'm probably going to... I'll probably play it on the next podcast. But... 
time being, yeah, I, I will be gone for a while. Ten At least ten days. Oh, good. Let him focus. Oh, God! Let him Also, upcoming things in August, Uncharted Lost Legacy, Death Note, of course. I'll be, make, I'll be making a full movie of that. Okay. And after this boss, we're gonna move on to the piece of resistance. But you're used to it. Someone like on the East Coast, you give them like a habanero, they're like, are you getting none? For me, it's like. They don't have the peppino Gatorade. They don't know. I love peppino Gatorade. But here's the thing they don't have also. I think it's not even outside of California, right? What? The freaking cactus cooler. No, yeah. They don't have cactus cooler. That was great for like. And I'm gonna definitely exploit that. And also Italian food. Italian. I'm exploit Italian food. And you know what? If, since you guys might not be, I might. I'm still dabbling on that idea, but I won't be able to do a podcast with you guys next week. But Shit. I might do one on my own. Not much, well. In like maybe. That's, that's a special link too. Like, welcome from. Blah, I'll be blah, traveling blah, blah, blah. and whatever the hell. Sorry, I'll have I made your leg fall asleep. Okay. Are you, are you holding your leg in pain? It hurts. No. It hurts. Uh, I'm wearing a pillow. Do you want another pillow? We got blankets. No, Mickey, you should get a cup of dough. You're a little slabby joke. Oh, really? Not really? Yeah, they don't have <laughs> yeah, hope you enjoy your jobs. I haven't been unemployed for. I can't even count that. I've been I've been a self contractor since my two thousand yeah. two thousand thirteen. Which means I get boned on taxes. Oh uh, Spider Man I'm, I get paid more up front, but it's also on me going, hey, maybe I shouldn't this is all for all YouTubers too. I get my full amount. But here's the thing. At the, of, at the end of everything, I still owe the, I still owe a lot of money. You guys can get refunds if you have a job. You don't get taxed out of yeah. your uh, You don't get taxed check. out of your uh, check. Yeah. So at the end of the freaking year, if I haven't saved up or if I wasn't careless with my money, I all that money that I, you know, originally was mine, I have to pay back to me. I don't save. Uh, that's how you end up like uh Captain Snipes in jail. Oh, Hey, he knew what he did. Cutting deep. That's not cutting deep. He knew what he did. You know what you did, Wesley. He was ducking the IRS for years. And what was it? It was a belief thing, right? Like, I don't believe you're paying taxes. Okay, buddy, <laughs> that's not how that works. Uh, fuck you and your mother. I, wow. That was me. Wow. Ripper Rue. Do anything. Oh yeah, she birthed this little. Yeah, that she. She. she bad. It's, it's her. It's okay, her. but like. It's real. I love playing. Fuck you! Yeah. CTR is awesome. Get, like, get, get off your ass. <laughs> you were all gung-ho about reading at the park. I was. I can't, but I don't know what happened to me. 
The beer. It was the beer. Oh, that's true. I think it's just me. It's a, it's a 6.2. <laughs> that ain't a normal I beer. A shark. I In that, like, this if I stop moving, mm. I'm gone. <laughs> I, no, I, I, I realize I'm kind of like that too. Um, yeah, if I lay down or if I don't do something, I'm just... I, yeah, I try to for no reason. That's why after I eat, I have to go walk. Digestion. Regardless, we're, not, we're just talking personal shit now. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. No, it's, it's, it's mine. You want to move on, baby girl? Okay. Um, what? Are you? Alright. So. You want me to be able to... No. Let me be I want to go crack panic and warp so we can... Okay. Get out of the way. Can't hit him so bad. No, she, she was immediately spoiling Baby Driver. Wait, what, wait, 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 what, what are you doing? She said, I'm happy that chick died. Okay, so we're not there yet. Oh my Damn it, woman. <laughs> we, don't even know, we, we don't even know who, who she's talking about yet, so that's true. It's fine. I, I need to do a whole thing. You can't just start screaming. But I don't that wasn't it. I had to do something very, very drastic too. I don't want to be ready to It's going down. It's going down. Oh, 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 oh. How do you keep dying with this guy? It's the last night. Bottom left, bottom left. Go. It's finally uh, generated. Not the same every time. Is it? Yeah. The fact they're pulverized. Well, I I capitalize on your investment. Uh. I did it. Okay. You okay? I still. I'm dying. <laughs> I mean, if you run around the park, it's about a mile. If you wanna get some energy or get some gas in the tank. Move on, shall we? Or, you know. Oh, it's it's time time. It is 5.02. Are you alright? Okay, so now, we're going to save. Oh, it's auto save. Yes, love. Yes, love. Ooh. I help you. Alright, so now we're going to start Crash Bandicoot Warped. At the same time, we're also going to be switching over to the spoiler cast version Woo! of this podcast. And that means... I can talk. Hold on. <laughs> Not yet. I have to put this in place. And then it will be 100% A-OK. -okay. And I believe... We're set. Okay, so, spoiler Spoilers. talk. Spoilers. Baby driver. If it counts for anything, a lot of women die in that movie, if you notice. A lot of women die? Yeah, I think that's his mom dies, darling dies. She just starts right off the bat. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I, I warned you guys. This is, we're getting spoilers, okay? And also, I changed the title so no one can just slip in unannounced like, Oh, these guys are talking about Crash Bandicoot. You lied to me! No, no. We're, we're in spoiler territory and she's 100% completely cool now. Right. No, it's fine. Anyway, the, the woman I was referring to is Darling. She annoyed me. Yeah. Darling? Darling, she annoyed me. Yeah, she kind of... She, she sucked ass. She annoyed me. In the, in the sense that she's a great character, don't get me wrong. Oh, it's yeah. just... She? How, she was very manipulative, though. I hated that about her. Yeah, that whole thing about her having, like, kill people. I mean, he's a... He's a brain. If I told you to kill somebody... <laughs> you wouldn't do it. <laughs> no, you're right. Debatable. You're right. Well, maybe, yeah. You you would have to have a good reason. Mm. I don't right. think you'd be darling. You'd be more like... Uh, what's her name? Uh, baby's girlfriend. I feel like I would have just killed him, though, myself. Deborah. 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 Also, just by the way, again, two small things. The fact is that baby's name is actually Miles. It's just, just a huge... Honey bastard. It's like, it's that's great. Australia. 
Okay, uh, so pretty much what they did. Um, the first song that they play, what was it again? Uh, uh, Bell Bottoms by the John Spencer Blues Explosion. That, 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 that was perfect. Dude, I know. Dude, everything about that scene was just absolutely perfect. And even the part where you mentioned, like, you know... Oh, where John, John Bernthal points forward, like, let's go! And then he hits he reverse. She does. It's a little polar bear. He's so cute, I love him. You can play him in part two, but you only write his back. But yeah, no, no. no, yeah. No, no. No, I liked him as a character, like... He was super interesting, and, and he was actually, like, this is what I keep thinking about it. He was a scary villain. Like, there was, he made me nervous. But no, back to John Bernthal. Uh, it was really sucks that he wasn't in the whole movie. Yes, what the hell. Like, they set him up a lot, plus he's a huge actor. I liked him a lot. I'll... That's a lot, like a big case with him after uh, Wolf of Wall Street. What has he really been in? Other than like yeah. side stuff. Yeah. Like he's he's in everything. Don't get me wrong. He's the Punisher. Yeah. He's, oh, he's right. You're right. Never mind. Null and void. Never mind. Argument out. I know okay. we've had a few unfortunate setbacks. All right. Bye, Nikki. Even though you spoiled the crap. I'm not done. I'm gonna finish this. No, 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 go, babe. We're gonna be here for a while. We're gonna be here for a while. Yeah, but I want to spoil the rest of the movie. Oh no, go ahead. Go ahead. Spoil the whole movie. Go, go ahead. Seriously. Spoil, spoil hey, the crap out. Hit the guy. I'm not kidding. We are. Anyone comes in now, that is their own damn fault. Well, since I have that right passage. Right passage. I know you said he wasn't really a villain, but I still think he was. Who? Uh, the, um, Kevin Spacey. Yes. Oh, let's get that poll going, like. Do you guys think Kevin Spacey was really a villain? Yes. <laughs> I mean, yes. He is the devil in this case. He's like, you know, Mr. Scratch. I get that. But I don't think he was evil. He wasn't the antagonist. That. I'm trying to... The, he was crash, not the antagonist. Crash, crash. And I think my I argument is... Well, you are for 95% of the Not even 95? No, no. Probably more like 70. Yeah. Okay. No. No, he was like only the... He was only the bad guy from like the part where he threatens him to the job. I'd Everything say Everything else he's just like he's the guy who he works for. No, cuz I'd say the threat lingered and he was and not until the end when he decides to no, The threat was immediately Jamie Foxx for the longest time. And then all of a sudden then the freaking, you know, okay. I don't know. We're, we're jumping scenes here, but this the, I love the moment that he kills Jamie Foxx. Oh yeah. It was just perfect. It was no. So, but my thing here is I think um um, I'm not saying I don't like Jimmy Fox, you're a great actor, I'm just saying your character was awesome, I, but like, I hate scary. Yeah. No, I think uh, the fact that Kevin Spacey lingered over him was the reason he couldn't get out, which still makes him the villain. Because if, if it was just Jamie Foxx, he, he has no real ties to Jamie Foxx until like the very end when you know, we in bed to get him out. Yeah. Which is a really good line. Really good line. What have we got? I'm just saying, if you're a bank robber, you're not really supposed to be a one fucking guy. <laughs> Which is what they kept telling Baby. Yeah. But again, that's, but the thing is, the one moment where he finally decided to get his hands dirty was the best moment, I guess, in my eyes when he murdered him. When I, when I saw those, uh, those like, uh, pieces of rebar, what do you call them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, sticking at the back of the I was immediately, like, like, final destination. I'm like, yep, someone's gonna die with those things. Either by accident or completely on purpose. The second he pointed the shotgun to him, I was like, oh yeah, here it comes. I'm like, oh, hell, you don't stop moving. Three, two, oh yeah. Move! What'd you do? I moved. <laughs> Burn! Dude, best, one of the best deaths, like, oh, just of all time. She was so, so earned. It was so earned. Because it was like, there's no way, like, he was going to beat this dude in a gunfight. Hell yeah. And uh, definitely not a fist fight. And I don't even think outsmarting him was like an option necessarily. Like he's pretty smart. Did you know? It's kind of a quick way to go. Yeah. Definitely was. Pretty, pretty brutal, but. It was brutal. If you I, only I, don't, well, that I don't. Well, I don't know. I don't know how quick that was. Yes, it did probably cave in his chest and destroy his heart. Uh. How fast can you survive oh. by your heart? Your, he didn't destroy the brain. Sorry. No, 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 no. It was all chest. He was there. Because he's sitting there like this, like, hunched yeah. over it. Yeah, well, he was probably paralyzed because it probably destroyed his back, or his, uh, his spine. Oh, that is not a... Not an so he, he was probably alive for at least a good, uh... But he deserved a minute. Oh, no, he deserved the shit of it, don't get me wrong. But, uh, the whole cops thing. I mean, you started going ape on the cops. Oh, I know. Just, 
Those are my cops. Yeah, like, who shot first? No, no, even then, like, I, I get, like, why he did it, but who shot first? I'm like, why did they all lie? What was, oh, I have no idea. What was the danger of that? Why? why? Nobody liked him. Well, Baby didn't like him. Baby John Ham wanted him dead, and so did Darling. Darling, Darling and, uh, they, they wanted him alive him. because they wanted to murder him. They wanted that satisfaction. Well, then, Their maybe. plan was to kill him after the job. That's probably what it was, it was probably the job. Yeah, no, yeah. that's why they lied for him. Because they don't want... How do people need to die like that? Probably a little bit of a fucking shot. Dude, I got both. This one I do believe is a lot easier, but it's because the controls are perfected. Yeah. Now, as much as I didn't like Darling, I was okay with her boyfriend. <laughs> what was his name again? Whoa, wait. Is this. Hello? Are we on? No, we're on. It's just, I don't know if it's loud enough for me to. I'm. I'm... I'm mumbling too much. Oh. When I turn over here, they can hear me. Okay. We need to, like... No, no, no. I think it's fine. It's just waiting for the actual <laughs> body to come in. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I just gotta keep aiming at the mic. Sorry, guys. I'll stop mumbling. I've been mumbling a couple times probably, but the game's a little really less, uh... Whatever. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I was okay with her boyfriend. Who? Darling's oh, boyfriend. John Hamm? Yeah. The villain of the movie? Essentially. Was he really? At the very end, yes. If you're the villain at the very end, then you're considered the antagonist. Da, da, da. Not, the, not the antagonist for the whole movie, but... His name was Buddy. Buddy. Oh, yeah. He Darling, like, Buddy. He knew why... Oh, no, I get it. Why, but... He wasn't, like, he's just pure evil guy. He did just kill the love of his life. Right? A, a, a lot of... A lot of villains work on... Or go up, uh... What's it called? Like, emotion and, uh... Like what if stuff. Baby was actually... Well, I... Killing Darling. That's the thing about... Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I think, uh... But I don't... I like that Baby gets what he deserves. Like, he deserved oh, yeah. the 25 minutes. Oh, shit. Can you not... Can you stop? Again, he didn't do the 25 years, he did only 5. I know, I know, but he deserved to get, like, to potentially do 25. Uh, not, not, not the 25. I'm glad he did the 5. No, 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 yeah, I know, but he, he deserved the threat. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, you weird, he shark, deserved, freak. He deserved, he weird shark freak. He deserved... Weird shark freak. Damn, I beat this in one year ago. Come on, man. Wow. Wow. Are we big and bad? Yes, I am. And bougie. I don't know, that's what that guy said in my I comment. Think, I think bougie really doesn't mean, like... Flashy or whatever. Okay, that's what that gives There's a song, Bad and Bougie. I don't know what that is. With your hip slang. Whatever, whatever, that, whatever that language was, I don't... I don't listen to hip hop. Did anybody help me? Hip got a hip hop. The hip beat with the hip so the hop. Oh, so we gotta idea. keep going about Baby Driver, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um... The... I think it's unfair that uh, Edgar Wright has made a perfect movie every every go. Unfair to filmmakers or it's just movie goes? it's just unfair as, as a, somebody else who wants to try to get into film. Yeah, it's just like even like the master fucking Spielberg has bad movies. Always. <laughs> Leave him alone. No, no, the movie's called Always. Babe. Oh. Okay, I was like, wow. <laughs> it, yeah, the movie literally called Always. Yeah. And also uh, War Horse. I like work. Hey, eat a cocktail. I don't care. Okay. I'm not. It's and boring. It's boring. I liked it. I saw it in theaters. Yeah, I know you did. Can we talk about Deborah a little bit? Yeah, yeah. let's talk about Deborah. She was awfully, like, willing to just go out with his bank robber. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she was, but you know what? All right. I hey, mean... that was like the thing. Hey, if Tim was a bank robber, you would do what you would go out? Well, there would definitely be a talk. <laughs> hey, they, they, had, they had the talk. What talk? He just showed up to her restaurant with a whole bunch of robbers, and what? she almost died. Well, she saved her. She saved her life. That, that's the talk right there. He saved her life because of the danger he put her in. And you know what? You just you split hairs here. You have to really put holes in my theory here. The I, I liked. I like. Wait, but the fact of the matter is that you said you would talk. So that at least opens up the possibility. They got to you the point would. of talking, and then he got arrested. I, I like to be romantic. I like the idea of like a whole 
they're meant for each other. And... That's cute. That's exactly what the ending was. It's cute. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm chilling. You, you mean clicking X? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it it works only sometimes, and in this case, it works beautifully. Yeah, yeah. Were, you know. Well, they get, they were good at past the whole thing. And also, the movie was good at creating that what sort of. Dark past Didn't they get the she had a terrible. Trauma? She just wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, she wanted to she go, just wanted go, away. go away. But why? Yeah. They. Oh, you're right. No, no, her, her character development really was, I really want to get out of here, and... And look who comes up through her door is a guy who can literally oh. her. It's like that yeah. Tracy Chapman. Tracy Chapman. Yeah, that is, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. And we just got sued. Oh. Just kidding. Sued! Hardcore. Yeah, so and yeah, we're losing money. Yeah, we're losing money here, folks. The I stock is going there. It is gone. Song. It is gone. <laughs> yeah, I guess you did. And we're did gone. It? Okay. <laughs> Off the air. Okay. I cited it. What are you doing? You guys ever heard that song? No. no. Never heard it. Blech. He definitely had a fast car. Also, another thing I want to point out. Um, I do get why they didn't... Uh, have John Brunthal more. But it, they should have at least had a little more of Kevin Spacey. Yeah. John Brunthal was the guy that uh, goes up in his face and so he's like, tries to make him play his glasses. Oh! That guy's, a, oh. that guy's a big actor. Yeah, he's, he's the Punisher. He's also in, like, The Walking Dead for season. I don't season know anybody's two. real name. I know. <laughs> his, his name's Griffin. In the also, let's talk about the actual stuff that they uh, referenced. Turns out I was wrong. What? Um, did you see that essay that I Twittered? That I tweeted? Retweeted? Essay? No. It was a video essay. One of that, that thing that we were, you know, talking about, oh, it's probably from Lost Highway or... Yeah. Blood Simple. It's from an old 70 movie called Vanishing Point. Oh, I really want to see that. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen it yet. Either. But, uh, also... You, you okay? Uh, shut the fuck. You want me to do it? No. Actually, no, wait, wait a minute, I haven't even played. Uh, cop it up. But I'm in the middle of it. You thing. die, you cop it up. Okay, if I die, I cop it up. So, Nikki, yeah. is there any last things you want to mention before you go? Uh-huh. Oh. I like the blind guy. I'm the deaf guy. You suck. I'm starting it because you miss his bosses. The deaf guy? Oh, yeah, yeah he's, he's uh, his character. Joseph. Uh, Joseph. I still think the guy in charge is the main antagonist. I still disagree. But, but this is why. Mm. He could have had an entirely different life. In fact, he did have an entirely different life until that one guy dragged him back into it. He didn't drag him. What are you talking about? He said, do you want to leave? He said, yes, Three. I don't want to be here anymore. But. And he says, no, I can kill everybody, love and everything, but you can still leave. But know that I'll do that. He doesn't exactly say, I'll do that, but he's going to do it. And then he goes back and yeah. starts driving again. But that, to me, that doesn't seem like like he's the main antagonist. The main antagonist, to me, is still. Well, I think it switches. It's well, it definitely switches. But like, even from that point. The only no, reason right. he's okay. there is because of that guy. True. I I, but I would see him as more of the herald. But again, yes, you mentioned Tim that characters can be multiple. Characters. To be honest. Or babies, so why you babies? But well, he was exactly out. He had no guidance for his parents' side. No. Not everyone is born like you. Dead parents don't. Maybe Ooh. Start. Dead parents do fuck kids up. It does, but. Oh, it makes Bambi? Bam we're going <laughs> back. Bambi. <laughs> also, uh, Bambi's mother needed to die. It, it, it was actually it was deer season. It was a poacher. It was actually. deer season. It was not hunting season. It was a deer. No. So let me get this straight. Just because it's hunting season, it's okay. You're gonna die. Yeah. Well, well, no, I, actually there is. Hunting season starts when there's an overpopulation yeah, of deer. I, 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 if it's hunting season, there's a dope, the baby's already. Are you sure? How did, what's your proof that he was a poacher? Because 
because he was hunting out of season. Yeah, they should. Do they say that? Yeah, in the movie, yeah, they say he's hunting out of season. Is there a sign that says out of season? Or? Not that. Talk about you know about hunting, which I didn't until uh-huh. I moved somewhere and people hunt. When, when she's giving birth. When they have baby deer, that is out of season. Ah. Out of deer. I'm going to have baby deer, that is out of season. Ah. How old was Bambi? Ban- baby. Ba- Bambi's like like a few he months was old. Like fawn. Yeah. And by the time they're adults, you're in season. Yeah. <laughs> so, based on biology. So, what you're saying okay. is that. Bring it all back is that that truck was a poacher that took away baby driver's car? Yes. No, his mom's dumbass driving was... Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, really fucking good idea to scream at your husband for... And it not, was his fault. She he knew at, goddamn wanted to argue with her in the fucking car. Well, he, he was an abusive piece of shit. I don't think... Biden's parents don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, but never take your uh, eyes off the road. Come on, people. She was driving off the road for like three full minutes. Yeah, she was pretty stupid. That's, I mean, that's like wearing like the... Blinders I and driving. It. I made it. All boxes. What? 48, wow. That's why you suck. I'm going again. I'm going to give a shit. Shit! I fucking do it. I do it. Move on. Um. Ba 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 ba. Wait, Ray, do you watch Orange is the New Black? He right. said it like eight times, no. Oh, then why? Why what? Why do you make it seem like I was going to spoil something? Because you, you don't want to spoil the people. People need to watch the show. Well, that, that does not mean you can just start grand, st- throwing out spoilers, show. lady. I'm just, I'm just saying, you done. can't just spoil That's stuff That's fine. And that happens. I just said it made me laugh, made me cry. Made me angry. I Did felt a lot of emotions. I felt a lot of emotions. I completely forgot any bases. Alright. Let's <laughs> move on. Um, middle of the film. A lot of uh, some references. Monsters Inc. 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 Monsters and uh, four reptiles. <laughs> Is it this level that I, it's the secret level? This one? Yeah. Where you get the yeah. pterodactyl or another one. No. Although, I'm not as dangerous, but I'm going to be kind of on the game one day, Robert. It might just the murder, though. Funny enough, I actually know someone who's like a spanker. Who do you say? Don't. Is it a friend of someone with it? Shh. Quite possible. Yeah, I'm not even going that other That's interesting. Why did you even bring that up? I brought it up because I'm just saying that I actually know something. But other than that, I'm not going to mention names. Oh, without giving away any more, did they, did they get away with it? Did they get away with it? Stop. No, that, that, I'm stopping it there, Tim. That's all I'm going to say. Why would I keep going for so interesting. Everyone... Right I get now. that, but that's more like... Okay, fine. Of a hint of... Off, uh, off... Stop! Off, off, uh, Shut the one. So, Baby Driver was a good movie. Yes, yeah, it was. Yeah? We'll talk yeah. about this later. Jesus Christ. That's what I'm saying. Off, off, uh, camera. Yeah, we'll do it later. Wow. Wow, well, what? What? Wow, well, what? How is that even bad? Wow. It's wrong to mention. Yeah. Holy God! I think what the, the fuck was that? Things. Those are the things that. Look at it. it. Looks so cute. Yeah, don't trust it though. I remember it. I just don't like the HD version. Is way better. Yeah, just I don't want to die. I guess I just wasted my. Are they creatures from the Black and Juni? See that shit? Oh my See that shit, Jesus. man? That is terrifying. Seriously. Oh, that world does he live in? Cortex? Yeah. That's the, that's why Cortex invented him. He was trying to give him a better life. Yeah, trying to or wow. kill all these crazy creatures. The world that yeah. Anything else? Baby Driver? I feel like we wanted to do a spoiler cast, but I have no idea what else we would even talk about uh, Baby Driver. Yeah, well, how'd you like how'd you guys like the ending? Um I was a big fan. I uh I uh no, I was gonna say um, 
I, uh, I, I liked some of the weird surreal stuff that they were doing in the middle of the movie when they were showing the black and white in the Kurt all pin up dress. Um, oh, the these dreams. 1950s, like, aesthetic. Yeah, like. The I, whole movie. Right? No, no, but when it was really hardcore in the black and white. You didn't see it. They go to an old diner, she's in a dress. Yeah, yeah, I think that's just that setting. Well, it's got that whole... Yeah, yeah, fine. The whole... Wait, did I just miss a box? Yeah, it's it's the one... uh, That one... Oh, I'm an idiot. Wow. I was like, what are you doing there? Get it. Sorry, you go. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the whole musical thing about it, but I meant when it got really... it, It was less... It was less 1950s musical, and just for a brief moment, it's like 1950s like teen movie or something. I can see that. Yeah. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet references. They just met and they're in love. Yeah, but at and least they no were. No problems, you know, other than him being a bank robber. <laughs> she doesn't know until the very end. At first, it's just a cute guy that's that's nice to her and has similar musical taste. Yeah. There's no reason for them to not fall in love. No, there's not that. It's just. And, and then at the end, she, you know, that's everyone's gonna have that moment, like, oh, my boyfriend, or anybody in like a movie situation like that's gonna have that, like, do I stay with this guy who? Uh, awesome at driving, or oh, yeah. awesome at driving. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> it was a bad no, outfit. I like when that little, the small he's joke. A he's yeah. And he's hot. And he's cute as a button. When he when he skids around the corner and she's like, not a not a limo driver. Got it. <laughs> Oh, Amart's back. Hey, I'm back in question. Never got into RPG, into RPGs. What's a great game to try for PS4? Persona 5. Oh yeah, Persona 5. But this is a game you're gonna be losing a lot of your life to because it's a long game. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a game like you're gonna be playing for a long time. But if you like, if you're in for the long haul, which you should be. Yeah. Oh, remember you can do the double jump, the super jump. R1. There we go. Yeah. He's awesome. He's got big feet. Look at that guy. I wonder about those neighbors. <laughs> the what? Big guy. Oh my god. Don't oh, wow. Wait, this is it. Wait, wait. Oh, where the hell is it? Oh, you mean that there's nothing? No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, wait, you know what? <laughs> is it a joke? Oh. It's a joke. That's it. Thank you, thank you. I think you need to try that. What if he just, like, goes up into the wall building for guys, and then just repeat the same thing as well? I'm going to fix it. I mean, it is a little bit. Fixed. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Everyone gets free seven up and uh, vapor room for the rest of their lives. Which, yep. by the way, as a Mexican person, that shit still works. I don't care what anyone says. Remember that video we were? Oh wait. Crap. Asana, Asana. Good. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. soda's not supposed to be refreshing yet, it's refreshing as hell. Yeah. Remember that video we were watching? Go lay down, come What's one? The, um... Oh, the... 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 Oh, no! No, yeah. Oh, no. I missed one. Shut up. Shut up. I missed all the nitro boxes you're talking about. Oh, yeah, that's true. Alrighty. What am I gonna do? Walk my dogs. You out? I am out. I want peanut butter and pickles. <sighs> Godspeed, girl. Asana, Asana. I don't know Asana. why the hell you are we, eat that. How, are we done with the podcast? Because... I feel like we're, we're getting there. I, 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 I don't know what else to talk about. I think... I think. I feel like... We, I mean, spoiler cast, we kind of didn't really talk about much about Baby Driver. Yeah. Well, okay. We can't talk about Baby Driver. I feel like there's more. He was mentioning a lot of Romeo and Juliet references, which makes sense. They're ill-star-cross lovers. Well, it, it just... They're not so sure. And they're sort of... But there's but no, it's not, it's like, there's there's no family yeah. thing. Five. It's just criminal underworld with. Dang. Now I didn't mean like it was a, it was Romeo and Juliet. I meant more that just like the you it's you have to right away accept they fall in love right away and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Also. I mean. I want to know more about this diner chick. 
Yeah, she's she's probably the weakest of the characters. Yeah. But what are you trying to say? I'm saying that you guys are pretty much the exact same thing. Tim wasn't a bank robber. <laughs> no. Oh, I've been told you. I'm sorry. <laughs> the friend he was talking me about too. was me. <laughs> <laughs> Just sell you in the room. Hey, who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Like you're like you're saying like shut the fuck up. Man. Who are you talking about? Who are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, no. Who are you talking about? It's definitely not me. You better be talking about me. You got them. Uh, Say that. I'm killing. They call me the ghost of eighty-five. Actually, remind me. Yeah, yeah. You better not say that. Yeah, yeah. You better not say that. 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 Sunlight people. Oh, Breatharianism? Breatharianism. And we were talking about while you were asleep. And then people who don't like the goofing. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that I did. That's a little absurd. You know what? For a person who pretty much made herself into Barbie, I'm not surprised. Can you go back, please? It kind of does exist. It's called Starbase. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it is. But you don't live. That's the point. It's like the healthier way to live, which is... No, it's you're, not you're like... You're not a plant. It's not photos. We don't no, have these are people who don't understand logic or science or. Yeah, that was. So uh... Technically, don't we actually have photosynthesis? But we get vitamin A, not food. Vitamin D. Vitamin D. Vitamin D. No. Fifty-six. Question: Have you guys ever played Life is Strange? No, I have not. But I do have a uh, I, 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 I have, in fact. Yep. Yep. Our housemate Dylan uh, was obsessed with the game. Um, uh, I respect the game, but too teen angsty for me. Yeah. That, that was my big thing about it. It was just. It's fine. So. What level of angst are we talking about? Are we talking about like Batman Beyond? Like angst? it was. Just, it's not things. Like, no, it was like it was things that are real problems. Like it's just it's sixteen year olds. And they're like, you know, oh, you know, my so-and-so hits me, or my boyfriend hits me. But the difference is, I'm suicidal. The difference is, um... You can't say those things that I can't... Okay, yeah? You're, you're, you're not. Um, the, the girl, she can she can jump back and forth in time, sort of. Yeah. Oh. So, what ends up happening is, he keeps trying to fix things, and it inadvertently, like, you know, you is save this person, wrong? but kill... You know, butterfly effect. Yeah, I was like, like that. Do you think that? Yes. Um, but, so, I don't know. So it's not a bad game, it's just two tanks. And they're making a sequel, because it's a widely popular. It's a prequel. Or a prequel, yeah. So, your life sucks. Someone's life sucks. Okay. And I also think she might be a lesbian. That was kind of a big hint, but. Yeah. A lesbian with a sexual life. But yeah, granted, I haven't played it yet, but I still also kind of have a plot. Yeah. Which, by the way, I just want to point out, they did rip off that plot. She's lesbian, why does she have a decent boyfriend? From Anna Connor, right? Uh, yeah, it did sound very Anna Connor. No, 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 no. She has a show. Yeah, that's it's what I mean. Show. Oh, okay. that's what I mean. Her, what's it right. called? Um, Riley Rewind? Yeah, Riley Rewind. It's the same damn plot. Like, verbatim. Power and everything. What? If she's a lesbian, why does she have a decent boyfriend? No, no, I, I don't know the full thing. I'm just saying it was... Everything I saw when I was playing it was like... I'm not saying anything bad about it, just say, yeah, they're, they're, it was they're, just, it was all that teen angsty stuff. So it was stuff that these are real, you know, like that show 13 Reasons Why. I have no nothing against that show. I do. But it's just so... Someone fucking killed themselves for that exact reason. For what? They were inspired by the show. To kill themselves? Yeah. Well, I don't blame the show. I blame the show because also the show romanticizes suicide. Wow. Jesus. Yeah, dude, fuck that show. Oh, wow. It romanticizes suicide. I did not know that. Yeah, dude, fuck that show. It kind of does. The whole show is about, this is why I killed myself and y'all should feel bad. Wow. It's kind of the vibe. And you know what? A lot of people are saying, not just me. This I read this second hand. And I watched part of the show, and I'm like, this is giving some real bad vibes. People was like, hey, is your life not going anywhere? Morning. Huh? No, was that wasn't there before. No, it wasn't oh. there before. They had to add yeah. it in. But before, and it was oh. like, hey, you know. Zendroid's back. How you doing, buddy? Hey, dude. Sweet. To... Well, we're currently talking about Life is Strange and uh, there's reasons, reasons why. why. I'm oh, just, yeah. I'm just saying, I, it's really, I think it's dangerous to blame TV shows for people doing things. Oh, no, I agree. But... That's, that's when you get into the realm of, oh, my kid shot someone because Grand Theft Auto. But here's the thing, uh, the kid did it for that reason. Yeah. And the show itself is literally All those romanticizing. All happened to that kid. No, what? but he he did like the same thing. He left behind tapes and stuff. And oh. it's like, at least from what I read. I, I think that, that kid was gonna kill himself anyway. That's still wow. 
No, it's true though. Yes, but if someone, if you were already feeling like, the fact of the matter is, it's people who feel like that already, they watch that show and they go, hey, this could be you. And this show literally is like, isn't it romantic or like, isn't it, or not romantic, like, isn't it, you know, sad? Shouldn't you feel bad? Because you made me feel like this. Hey kid, has anyone ever done that to you in your life? It, it's just... It also shows how jacked up the family feels about it. Yeah. I, uh, and, that, and that's kind of a good sign, but the thing is, it's all about the girl, like, projecting it to everyone. Which again, is a good concept, it's just executed very poorly. Yeah. I'm also against trigger warnings. Yeah, I think that I think they're horseshit. Except for the Call of Duty. You one. shouldn't watch the. Except for the Call of Duty. One. <laughs> Call of Duty Part Four. That was that was well well played. Was it Modern Warfare? Or Mo Part Modern Warfare Two, right? Modern Warfare Two. That yeah. was well placed. Yeah. Maybe that just level shouldn't have been in there. Yeah, you know, man. But uh, it it helps the drive the story along, even though you're mowing down civilians as a terrorist. I don't remember ever caving a shit about what? any of the Modern Warfare. Yeah. Warfare. There's a trigger warning at the beginning of the game. It says, hey, there's a mission in this game. If you're you can not play it, too. It, you can, it tells you, like, you can skip it right now. Click, click this button, say yes or no. And if you wave the right, it gives the level. And you're essentially going into an airport and you're murdering civilians. It's terrible. It's, it's supposed to it set up the story, and I don't know why, because it's you're, like, glorifying murder? Wait! No! You can't go left! Yeah, no, they'll hit you left. You gotta stay way out of the way. God damn it! Yeah, uh, Ray has it now. Don't spoil that at all for him. Please don't spoil it for anyone. Yeah. I was just but telling her. For me. I was just telling her. I was like, Baby Driver may be our number one, but I, I'm still maybe Get Out too. I love Get Out. And I've had more interesting conversations about Get Out than I have in any movie in a long time. Oh yeah, because that's a. That's a Oh, and it's, all, it's just hitting so many cylinders so well. It also made me laugh. Yeah, and oh, also, yeah. it's fucking funny. I mean, from the, from the trailer, like, oh. I think it's just a great writing. Oh my god, Jordan Peele. That's a yes. No! Fuck! <laughs> hey! Shut up! Hey, can I beat him? Well, going back to Baby Driver, since we keep, uh, I, I, I kind of like this thought. I like that we keep hearing off course, and that's, that's good, you know, good to keep, to keep talking. That's right. Aha, like, aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. yes. That's exactly why I said it. Um, but, uh... I don't know how to talk about Baby Driver. Like, it's very pretty. Yeah, and the, the plot works really well. Like, as you were saying in the actual review that we made, um... Oh, audio this one is loud. Great. That is loud? Yes. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make sure we all talk towards the mic. Oh. That's what I've been trying to do the whole time, but I guess we do sound a little quiet. What else is there about Baby Driver to talk about? One second. Whoa. Eh. I'm about to kill him. Just kill him and then. Um. Pacing wise, shots wise, what you guys really, really love about it? Okay, well, we haven't talked about this yet, but like, like I, uh, I just love ev everything Edgar Wright does. I just love all the sw the swish pans, the the long takes. Oh my God, there's blood! Oh, the tomatoes! Oh, wow! <laughs> I didn't see the tomatoes. Oh my God, there's blood! <laughs> I was kind of shocked. Um, yeah, I just, da -da -da. I don't know, like. He's got like his bag of tricks, but it never feels like overplayed. I never. Michael Bay. Michael, Michael Bay. Bay. Michael Bay has his bag of tricks too. Oh, so, explosions! I, I know something super dorky. I was gonna. I was gonna bring up. Um, I was rereading the film theory book we for 120, um, and it's it was talking about this idea of uh, closed cinema, and I really thought this was, I thought this was interesting. This is super dorky. Um, but it's uh, movies like George Millier's movies, Wes Anderson movies, Ed Wright movies. It's movies that call attention to the fact that they're movies. Um, versus like, so an open movie would be something like fucking. Uh, let's say like four hundred world. No. <laughs> well, no, yeah, okay. But minus the CG, I was thinking something closer to like four hundred blows. Where it feels like the real world. Like, you feel like when you turn the television off, that, that little French kid is still wandering around. 
Um, that's an open movie? Okay. That's kind of, it's like movies that feel like the real world. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Where, where at Wes Anderson, everything is put in its right place. It's pristine. Yeah, that's that's its own fantasy world. Right, and Edgar Wright movies, like, it's, you know, he's, he's got the swish pens and, and the long takes and the bright colors, and it's like, hey, this is a movie. Like, look how movie-ish this Every Quentin Tarantino movie, look how movie my movie is, which is awesome. Um, Except for True Romance. Yeah. That one's on. Again, yes, it's Tony Scott. Wait for me but... at this point. Oh, I was like, adios, I'm going to go get peanut butter and pickles. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I honestly believe I think that's pretty much it then. I don't know what else to talk about. Do you want to come walk the dogs with me afterwards? Sure. I want lunch, though. Peanut get, butter and I pickles. Want you had lunch. I'm going to eat some food here. Yeah. I I made a, more food. I made a pizza I'm pizza dying. With you. But yeah, I don't know. That's what I appreciate about Edgar Wright movies is... Like they're different from other movies because they're not afraid to talk about other movies. They're um, they're engaging. They have an open quality to them, which is I start getting lost in the characters mm-hmm. and what's happening, even though it's flashy as fuck. And like you said, Michael Bay movies. That's movies that are so closed that I'm just like, yep, I'm watching something. This is crap. You know that CGI, this super big uh, sweeping pan. I don't know. It, it pushes me out. What? What do you want? I want to comment about Baby Driver. Please do. Okay, cool. One thing, one thing I would have liked, don't hurt me. <gasps> no, that's, no, that's don't fine. Don't hurt hey, me. Whoa, whoa, it's fine. Go ahead. I would have liked more background what? on everybody else. Like, we got Baby's background. We got a little bit of... Darling and... Yeah, a little bit of their background. Yeah. I want to know what made Jamie Foxx so twisted. What? Well, what made Jamie Foxx so twisted? Do you think that's... Oh, you want to see the background here? Okay. Do you think that's necessary to the plot? No, but, I mean, neither was knowing that the one guy worked for Wall Street. The... No, that, I think that was pretty necessary. Was it? Because it shows... It, that's a character... There's a character arc there. It shows that he used to... He used to be a normal dude and... Kind of like Baby. Kind of like Baby. a good person. But then... Was he a good person? Twi- Oh, that mean yeah. They even did mention like, "Hey, you were on Wall Street. You were worse <laughs> crook than any of us." I was like, Combined. "Was he?" Here's no, but- no. And then, darling, she was a stripper. You're like, hmm. well, Jamie Foxx. You get the idea that he's been like a career criminal a long time, and like that's why the whole thing, like in this business, like that right there tells you he knows he's been in there a long time. You know, the moment you catch feelings, the moment you catch a bullet, which tells me about him right away. Did he have feelings at one point? No, Did it can, watch it, who I maybe, like but it also. It? I mean, the character you keep saying there was a complete villain. I mean, he had feelings at one point too. That's why he helped that baby at the end. Yeah, he had feelings. Well, you know. He just like I knew a girl once. I'm just saying. Uh, I, I, I Lucifer was an angel. <laughs> that, exactly, exactly, exactly. That's the whole thing. That's exactly, he had feelings. And that's exactly why, like the whole ending, it works out that he, you know he helps him out. And that's exactly why it's perfect. I like how he was like, I'll help you out for the girl, not for the, you know, disabled. But he even gives up his life, too. At home. He really does. Like, he, 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 like, it's not just like, oh, I'll give you some money. It's like, no, no, he gives up his life. Mm-hmm. It's like, run. Didn't I just say, run? Like, he knew he was going to die. Yeah, they never ran. It's like, move, mother. <laughs> no, it's. What? Uh, we got one more comment. Oh, and God. I think this is it. But uh, we're going to be ending this very, very soon. Am I going to die? No. I don't know. Maybe the comics are really like the movie, and they're like. That's that, that's a very valid. You're not saying anything bad about the movie. It's just the reason why they didn't have this because you know time pacing was. But here we go. Um, what do you guys think of the Dark Knight? What? I was hold on. There's another question that's gonna talking about what we're talking about. So we'll we'll, we'll come to that. Dark Knight, Dark Knight. Same. But Sandra says, don't get me wrong. I love Edgar Wright, but I don't feel like he's made a true masterpiece yet. Scott Pilgrim is pretty good though. Have you seen Baby Drive yet? I haven't seen Baby Drive yet. His masterpiece, Hot Buzz. Yeah. That's, uh, I think that's undoubtable. That, that's or unquestionable. I mean, <laughs> will it be his masterpiece? I don't know. Like he, he still has a, a way to go. He's not done yet. Don't get me wrong. Like Shaun of the Dead, an amazing movie, but <laughs> there's faults in it. But it's still amazing. But with Hot Fuzz, I think he perfected it, and with the World's End, he just had fun. Scott Pilgrim is perfect because it was an adaption. He, he did a great adaption of what this picture was. And Baby Driver is just. I don't know. It just, I mean, it deserves all the praise it's getting. That's the thing. It's it's. That's what I was saying earlier. He's kind of made a bunch of masterpieces, and when you put them all next to each other, it becomes a really hard conversation. Which one's better? Yeah, like, and, and that's kind of why, like, I kind of agree with you. You're saying, oh, he hasn't made a masterpiece yet. Well, if you compare him to other directors, he has. I mean, he has a many perfect career so far. Again. Yeah. Is that the 
I don't pop it again. Who? Deborah. Uh, wait, I want to go to the really quick Deborah. Yeah, she was a stripper. Oh no, Deborah. Well, no, Deborah. Deborah. Not Deborah. Deborah was also a stripper. I thought they hinted that Deborah had like a, an abusive family or yeah, something. Yeah, that's why she wanted to get leave. When did you say that? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to remember. She was that. saying like, oh, so what about your family? Because they're talking about mothers, I think. Yeah. I think my mother drives me crazy. I think she says that, doesn't she? Oh, maybe. She oh, she. Leave. But isn't everybody's mother drive me crazy at some point, even if they're not abusive? Yeah, but not just growing up. True, Isn't but enough the, enough the for you to, enough for you to leave. How many runaways? Right maybe are there? maybe her background you can think of in, in contrast to baby because her background is that she's a normal you know twenty three year old, whereas baby is like got this fucked up background. So she's like, I want to get out of here because you know every twenty something year old wants to get out of here. True. And maybe it's like oh like you don't know what like a hardship is like. Do you want to get out of here? Baby's trapped here. Let's it, see that. To the Dark Knight question, um, it's a good movie. It's overhyped. Um, wow. It is not overhyped. Fuck you. It's wow. uh, no, it really is. How dare you, fucker? It's a, no, it's a great movie. It's a great movie. How is it overhyped? It's, I'm talking about like when just being around a lot of film students. Okay. There's only five. Oh, okay, that. You, there's only five movies they've seen: Shawshank the Redemption, The Godfather, Pulp Fiction, The Dark Knight, and fucking I don't, what Forrest Gump maybe. No, 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 no. You, you, you gotta you gotta point out the one that everyone loves and that for some odd reason they want to show them about. Breathless. Oh, I hate Breathless. Yeah, Sarah, no, I hate Breathless. I respect what it did. I understand people love it, but it, it's me. such an incoherent mess, at least to me, that I just don't. I get it. It was breaking new ground. It was breaking rules. But if that's the only reason. I I don't care. So, but it's okay. But the good things about the Dark Knight too. Uh, um, I think it uh, it showed that you can do whatever you want with um, with a with an IP, especially a superhero IP. Yeah. I don't like a lot of this dark superhero shit that's come of it, but yeah. but it's I don't blame that. You fucking idiot! I don't necessarily blame that movie. Like, I no ill will to him. Just saying. Yeah. I just don't like his movies. Yeah. Pretty dark. That's come out of it. Like, like Batman vs Superman. Superman, which is like, look how, uh, and I just look how uh, dark it can be. Aerosol, you don't have to. Or you fucking have to. Okay. Uh, the worst version of all of it, which is Suicide Squad. <laughs> God, that movie's cut. People love it. I don't know why. No, nah, yeah. And the funny thing is, every person I talk to say it's a great movie. Okay, well, what do you like about it? I like this character. I destroy them for them, and like. Uh, it's right, so you can't argue against me. I just had fun. Okay, <laughs> that's the only argument. Fine, but don't okay, tell okay, me it's a great movie. Okay, okay, let's be honest though. What? I know you guys are into film, but a lot of people just go to the movies no, no, to have fun. I, then, I and, and it's too bad a lot of people don't have brains. But I, I encourage, no! I encourage them to start using no! them. Hey, hey, Tim, what the fuck, man? I'm just saying. It I'm just saying. What the? It bothers me that you're gonna go waste your money on something and not and just sit there and blindly stare at a, at a blank screen. Says, he says, I feel like the Dark Knight saved Batman. It did in many. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, but Batman Begins was also a good start. But yeah, I did save Batman. You're definitely right. Oh yeah, totally. And also, I just mean he hasn't made it. Okay, go back to Edgar Wright. Android says, I mean, he hasn't made a film that is definitely amazing. I really disagree. With I that. hardly disagree. I highly disagree. And you can poke out a lot of flaws in something like Hot Fuzz. No, you can. Um, I don't elaborate. But Please, yeah. It's a great movie, but I don't think all the jokes land. Yeah, like, 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 agree to disagree, but I, yeah, no, I, I'm actually curious. I'm not trying to be a dick. Yeah, I, I, I want to know. This is this is good. This is how we, you know, we, we grow as people. We hear other people's beings. What? Yes, ma'am. I'm still trying to figure out what's wrong with just having fun in a movie. <laughs> no, I'm not talking. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Baby driver. That's not what I'm saying. Fun. I'm talking about blindly watching a screen. Transformers. The you movies. never just. Go to a movie to finally watch a screen? Uh, no, like, because you know, I turn it off even the, even I'm the, not being entertained. Yeah, and it's even if I'm. Maybe I mean, it's a stressful life and just want to forget. Well, can't yeah, but. And that's why you watch, watch a good movie, though. I don't know. Good movies there are happy think. movies. Sometimes you don't want to think. Then. What? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you do not want to think. Zendroid. What? And that's when you watch Jumanji. There are two kinds of people in this world those who think Suicide Squad is good. And, and the rest of civilization. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't like Suicide Squad either, so I thought it was about to be insulted. No, 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 no. You know what was a great movie? Is that... How for the Wilder People was great. Hell yeah. <laughs> for the Wilder People is amazing. That was on our list for the top That's 10 last year. See, that was a phenomenal movie. That's a movie where you can turn the television on, turn something on, and you can, without having to study or anything, just enjoy a movie. That's a that movie that's fun. See, see, like, watch that instead of watching Suicide Squad. 
Like, that's the same thing. Like, why people? What's wrong with people having fun? Cool. Is I, it is it wrong to have I'm not better against... fun or more fun than watching some shitty movie you don't and care watching about? Watching garbage. Yeah, it's garbage. If you're watching Troll 2, though, in that case, that is garbage too. But that's so garbage that it's fun. Yeah, it surpassed that level. It's the the thing is how you you're probably saying like, oh, we're so high and mighty. No, no, no. There's a spectrum. There's movies that are so amazing, so great, and they're always gonna be fun no matter what. And there's movies so bad, they're so terrible, yet they're fun because you're laughing along with it. And there's people. There's movies that are just boring, yeah. and they're boring. They're in the wrong like Suicide Squad. I love All the boring. action sequences boring. are boring. The the constant changing of music is boring. Oh look at this, a new character, new soundtrack, new other character, another song. It's like, stop. Let me listen to the song or just don't play anything at all because it's just stupid. You know, I, I wanted to like Suicide Squad though. Me too. Yeah. I'm sad that Harley I Quinn and all that. Yeah, I would have loved it too. And I wanted to see the other Joker. I'm hoping that Sirens doesn't go the same way because they're going to make it no matter what. The Joker. So I, I wanted know. to see um, Jared Leto's Joker. But was, I was you didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't see Jared Little's Joker. I saw him acting like an ass clown. And, uh, <laughs> and apparently behind the scenes he was sending used condoms to people. Used condoms and dead mice. That was fucking weird. What, to like get into character? Yeah. yeah. That's his way of method acting. But why would used condom? I don't know. See, Joker doesn't remind me of used condoms. He didn't get Joker at all. That's the thing. <laughs> he just got the idea of some weird, <laughs> stupid character. Well, I can't really say anything. It's not like I could have done better. Okay. Uh, what's the best horror movie you know? The thing. The, but yeah, the uh, it's the, technically Get Out's a horror movie. Get, get Out's really good. Well, <laughs> probably the best one this year. I haven't seen yet, though, but yeah, Get Out. The best year from this year? Or? No, no, you're saying best horror movie, you know. Uh, for me, the thing, the aliens up there. Technically, it's Evil Dead too, but it's <laughs> a horror movie. We're I only can't going do horror. horror. Um, yeah. Horror and demons, I can't. Oh, um, I think for me that like the ultimate scary movie is, is like Rosemary's Baby. Movie's fucked up. Yeah. Oh, more it's like a. The demon well, don't let's not ruin it for the. Everyone knows the ending of Rosemary's Baby, dude. Do they? Okay, dude, that that's such an old movie. I know it's, it's just like it's I, been I copied, can and... especially you know you have viewers maybe who haven't seen as many things. Yeah, okay, at this point, yeah, I mean we're not even spoiling anything. Just yeah, it's just it's Rosemary's Baby. Everyone knows about Rosemary's Baby, but I guess that is the concept of the movie. It's called Rosemary's Baby. You're right. I can't watch demon movies. So. Zendroid, watch Gardens of the Galaxy for fun, not Diet Gardens of the Galaxy with booty shots and Jared Leto. Yeah. yeah. I I'm on that, yeah. That, that, there you go, that's another movie. Movie. Okay, that you, makes sense. You can I just can casually that. watch that movie. Guardians of the Galaxy was fun. Guardians of the Galaxy was fun. Part 2, sadly, is not as good as the first one, but really? hey, still good. I didn't hate it. Yeah. Oh you suck! Give me this. Give me this. Anything else you guys want to talk about before we end this podcast? No, actually, I think the ending of, the, of this podcast actually turned out really well. I, I'm starting to get tired, and I feel like good. <laughs> I just took a nap. I feel great. So. Oh, well, good for you. And how was it? It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. So? Can that be so, a superpower? Any, any last closing thoughts well, while I annihilate this course? Uh, closing topics. Happy um, Darling died. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, just spoil the movie. Fine. Uh, uh, spoil the cast this time. Um, so baby Happy has, the other guys died. Baby has tinnitus, and he got that because his parents were in a crash. Um, <laughs> When he was a young, Stop. when he was a young kid, he uh, we are spoiling. Them. He tried to uh, he tried to rob a, say spoil steal a car. Oh wait, is this a weekly thing? Uh, hold on, A Mart and Montelli. Oh yeah, not entirely sure yet. Is it weekly uh, or bi? Bi weekly or weekly? I do feel like it, it'll really depend on next week because I'll be not here. Wait, oh, is, it, is the wedding next? Wait, week? no, no, we can do it next week. We can we can do one next week on Thursday. Is the wedding next okay. week? Okay. No, next. Yes. Yes, the wedding is next week. Personal information just thrown out there. Thank you. Ray's getting married, everybody. It's not me. <laughs> I'm not getting married. I'm his wife. He did invite Fuck. me to the wedding. No! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I probably just blew out everyone's mic. It's his great na lately named Natasha. Anyway, so Baby has his oh, job, be and he's been working for this guy, and he owes him a bunch of money because when he robbed his car. Wait, you want to talk about how you're the best man? Uh, no. Nobody. Stop. Ray's What's about the theme? And then there's you. I hate you people. Then he meets a girl. When are you guys getting married, huh? Let's talk about that. At uh, five, ten years, depending on if the breakup happens or not. Oh. Wait, what? Jesus. Aww. Hey, just throwing it out there. Does a lot of So I'm assuming she'll. Break, so I'm dead. assuming she'll break up with you. Probably. Oh, oh, I don't like this. This, is, this will I be. I don't a, like this. Part. Here's the time capsule for so I can cry in ten years. 
Well, no. Or five. Or three. Wow. Or 20 Jesus. minutes. Hey, <laughs> hey, buddy, you're... Pressure. I just hey. wanted to talk about his like underwater, under the sea themed wedding that we're Mother planning for. Him, but... <laughs> under the sea. Actually. So you gotta have a good night, guys. Sorry, I'm listening to the beginning of the podcast. So when are you gonna propose? No, no problem. Uh, hopefully, you can go back and listen to the bulk of it. And there will be more, my friend. Yes. Or I it? probably won't be here, so he'll probably be thankful for that. But <laughs> you're you're a good addition. Out of most people that I know, you can at least hold a conversation, and not be weird, and not say very horrible things that are funny. I was like, I don't know, I just said that you were getting married to a girl named Ariel. I, was like, no problem. I, I, I would love Hold to up. get married to a girl. Go yes! Yes! With our chicken dinner! Got it. And we'll end it with that. Tim, can you be Sebastian the best man? Let's say goodbye to everyone. Oh, bye. Under the sea. <laughs> Alright, but yes. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, whether you're watching this live right now or watching this in the future. Uh, we appreciate La it. Futura. La futura. The futuro. Anyway. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys. Amart, Zendroid. Uh, give you guys a shout out right now because you guys are the last ones here. Oh yeah. But um, yes, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And more likely we'll be doing this again Thursday. Put in the week. comments some things you'd like us to talk about. I'd be interested to see what the, the fans want us to talk about. Exactly. And yeah. also, again, we will always be doing this Q&A thing, so we'll always be answering comments. Yeah, yeah. We like to as, talk to everybody. Exactly. As much as we like the topics we talk about, we're still not going to, you know, we'll listen to all of you guys. All right. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. We're going to talk about his wedding. Say Stop goodbye, with, Nikki. Stop with the wedding. Bye. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>